Yeah. I, I guess so. Okay. Snap out of it, word friction later. <laughs> <laughs> what was Hanson mean? Standing here, staring into space aimlessly. <laughs> I'll give word mouth to mouth to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you guys are in this mysterious facility with Baztan soldiers all abound. And there is one thing that I uh, forgot to have you guys look at, and that was after word pick, picked the lock on that chest. He found a few things, including a mm -hmm. mysterious note, which I did not reveal to you. Ooh. Another mysterious note? Yes, one on a Paper very trail. small piece of parchment. Um, seems uh, recently written, not as like worn out as the other ones. And it's a very short note. It reads, in a hastily written script, uh, oops, it's only in GM notes. Let me fix that again. <laughs> it's blank. <laughs> look, look at this piece of paper. With there we go. It's invisible it ink. It. And it says, <gasps> dear Lord, the king has informed me that the Prabhath yet lives. Destroy him at all costs. T <gasps> The Prabhath? the Prabhath? What could this of, mean? Of the guy from Prince the throne Rhea? in the, yeah, with the dragon scales. Who's that was the what they king? were all saying. Protect the Prabhath. Oh, the king of the underthrone? Um... Famous cricketeer. <laughs> Wait, so they wanted him dead, but now they don't? I think we assumed he was dead because he was from like hundreds of years was, ago. Yeah, right. Who is using, uh... stop using key, uh, fake names. You, you, these these letters aren't being seen by anyone else. The king, yeah. <laughs> it's so inconvenient for us, the interlopers. Dear Lord, yeah, seriously. We're just trying to ascertain your nefarious so, deeds. Everything signed T so far has been, uh, I think, to Hero, yeah. So. Oh my God, I almost said hmm. Terrell. He's not that involved. He's, no, he's, no. He's in too deep. Just well, some poor he? shithead from session one. <laughs> All of a sudden, Terrell and is to Harrow, T equals T, my fan theory. <laughs> what in the Sherlock season four plot twist is this bullshit? <laughs> Got a war Ragnarok. Oh. Correct. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, Prabhath yet lives. That's going to be very interesting to figure out. What's a Prabhath? Well, they're probably going to hate us. Well, that, that was well, the, the guy that we had seen down in the bottom of the Carencia. Ruin, right? Yes, well, we, we received some form of. Him, did we? we saw some form of well, psychic like vision yeah. where he yeah. uh, declared that uh, I believe his exact words were, uh, "Elinthi will fall. fall." Yes, something similar. Yeah. My people will have vengeance. Elinthi will fall, and then shards of dragon scales left on his throne. So, if he's still around, that could be very impactful on, him. well, any number of things, really. <laughs> I wonder if he's in hiding. How, How did they even find out that he's alive? Well, I think we've established that the Underthrone Society has at least some sort of network of information gathering. Do you think he might... Do you think that's what those soldiers were for? I doubt it. I think they were guarding the other impromptu goings-on in this place. The experiments with the blot, the prisoners. No, no, no. In the, in the blot oh. area. Oh. Yeah, remember when we picked up the dragon? There was oh. a ton of soldiers. That's a possibility. But Because I don't know if they were just sent out there to try to get the dragon. Well, if we're correct Seems in like our theory. It's like a very small force. Ah, I'd say it's a smaller force for destroying the Prava. Mm. I don't think we really know how strong Pravath is. I mean, if he's like extremely old or... If he's old, then he's strong. That's how dragons work. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yes. If he's still alive after all this time, he's either too strong to have been defeated at any point, or he's been hiding very cleverly. And that's its own kind of strength. True. I think we need to keep digging. I really am interested in, and I'll point over to this uh, little. Uh, yes, the locked thing. <laughs> I mean, if this is if this is the information that's in the non-locked room, I have no idea what's going to be in the locked room. Do we know how to unlock it? Well, you can, uh, if you would like, you can have a arcane. Uh, yeah, I would arc arcana, arcana check. check. Yeah, Me I'm not really too. good I'm, at I'm those. <laughs> I, ha I have a flat plus one because this isn't my thing, but. Uh... Get a seven, then we'll get lucky. We'll get, get a, a seven. seven. Come oh! on, three seven. Uh... All right. <laughs> Dang. Uh, so <laughs> you know so much. Yeah, you know this is Where actually fam at it? <laughs> this is familiar magic. This is a very co common arcane lock that has that is used that is very uh, clearly connected to an arcane key that uh, is single use. Video game logic. Ah. Ooh. 
Do I think that Where's perhaps... Where's the arcane key? Yeah, maybe <laughs> will we find that if we continue to explore around or knock out guards and rifle through their know. pockets? Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's really maybe a mystery. Just, maybe we should just start stepping on all these different uh, unlocked magic circles and yes. see where we end up. Okay. It feels like this map is bigger than uh, than what we've already exposed. <laughs> but yes. Can as, we... Go on. Hmm? Go, sorry, I was going to ask if we could go through here, and then that would bring Yeah, that'll bring you back here, there. You don't have to go... go to specific ones. You can just be like, I want to look at that one that we yeah. haven't stepped in. Yeah, that's the only one we haven't I'm stepped in. I'm breaking the boundaries. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can go ahead and break the boundaries. <laughs> I've activated no clip. Where the heck did everybody go? Spectator <laughs> mode. We know We're in the middle the left. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And I will put you all on that next map if you all agree to go into that yeah. next portal. Yeah. Yes. So when you do, I'm gonna put you here just for now before I reveal uh -oh. the room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> when you Secret do- Prabhat reveal. You uh, walk inside <laughs> and you Prabhat. are immediately caught off guard um, by guards, uh, several so, of them. Oh, and you see ah! that they are all standing around what seems to be a sort of circular vent down of which you can see the emanating uh, light of the magma below that is very common Ooh. in Trevisetta. Um, and all of them seem, uh, most of them seem to be facing away from you, kind of looking into it and are burning papers of some kind, parchment, letters. Uh, hey. But oh, a no. few of them do lock eyes with you as they are facing you since they are surrounding it. And I'm going to need all of you to roll for an initiative eh. immediately. Once, uh, once I put the wow, 10 order. Wow, this is going really go. well oh, for me shit, today. Sorry. That's okay. We it's in, uh, uh, hey, it yeah. still worked. It still worked. But uh, the mages, the mage guards notice you and immediately call towards their comrades. Bro, bro. Two initiatives, one for the mages here. and one for the brutes. Ooh. There we go. What, what are you fellas doing? <laughs> Why is word called turd in the thing? Wait, what? <laughs> word, what happened? <laughs> no, not what turd. Happened? <laughs> Why is your name turd? <laughs> I could, uh, with one letter, I could change Buck's name to something that would be inappropriate as well. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. There are multiple you could choose, actually. Yeah. What are we feeling? Oh, you, wouldn't have to get, you wouldn't have to get far from B in the alphabet to get to the letter that I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking F. You know? Concerned. Like, how did, how did that happen? Are you okay? You're turning. <laughs> Just it's felt God, like a name it's change. God King Turd. It's Devil. It's Devil Queen Turd. I don't know. <laughs> Coach, put me in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if I see, add to turn, there we go. Thank you. All right. Put me yeah. in the and first up, word. You see that oh, these, uh, like here. almost everyone, just turns around to notice and brandish their weapons. The Bastion Guard has its eyes on you all. <laughs> Evidence inspection <clears throat> detail. <clears throat> We're supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're all fine here. How are you? <laughs> Hello, sir. No, don't mind me. Since oh. they're going back to back, I'm just going to put them, just have one. Hello, fellow burning documents fellows. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow humans, human fellows. This isn't the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the group bathroom. I, I got separated from my tour group. <laughs> All right, uh, Logan, uh, word, your turn. What do you do first? Okay, um, I pull out my black hawk, which- uh, Excuse me? Am I, am I attuned to that currently? The- I, f I forget where I got it. It's the- um, light crossbow i think that can load several bolts into it at once oh uh, you got oh, that that's right uh wait the black hawk let's see where um do, 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 do. yeah you got in the um special chest yeah lock chest okay so i wouldn't be attuned black to it hawk. yet yeah i think you requires attunement you got it today so uh no you would not be attuned to it uh, I think it's still a plus one, so it, I will. It is still a plus single. one hand crossbow, yes. Hmm. Yeah. See, well, yeah. Let's just do that. First attack, bam! At we'll go for the Ooh. mages. Fuck those guys. The mage. All right. You fire at one mage. Uh, the sneak attack is not going to proc, but it is a, still a pretty good hit, as it pings off the mage's armor and like chips a little bit into it. Well done. I like this thing. <laughs> 
Anything else? Uh, I can't stealth. I can't dash. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run over here next to the fire where I feel safe. That's my <laughs> All right, Buck, your turn. I'm going to rage. Woohoo! Every time I do this, I always forget which of these uh, I have to actually roll the table to. I think it's this one. Mm. Is that it? Uh, it says five. It's yeah. very hard to read. Uh, oh, I don't know if... Yeah, I think I have had this one. So that is that one. Um, so that's me, Ragey. And then I will step in between... What effect fellas. does it do? Oh, does it not show? No, it just... Uh, uh, oh, wait, oh, no, it yes, it does. Sorry, sorry. It, yeah, it shows the effect on mine. I, yeah. uh, whenever a creature hits me with an attack roll before my rage ends, the creature yeah. takes 1d6 force damage as magic lashes out in retribution. Yep. Um, so, being protected, I will run up and I will uh, reckless strike with my big blind. Ooh, nice. <laughs> That's oh, nice. That's a crit right there. So that is uh, 12 plus 9 plus an additional 2 because of my rage. Oh, unless in the last level I've gained. Yeah, plus 2. Um, and because I have um, Crusher Critical and I scored critical hit that dealt bludgeoning damage. Attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the start of my next turn. Ooh, nice. Hey, I don't know nice. if there's a way that you want to indicate on that. Yeah, I'll Plus, indicate that. Because I have um, Crusher and I, I hit it and it's only, it's no more than one size larger than me. I can move it five feet. Can I push it towards the <laughs> Yes, you most certainly think, can. I'm curious what that's going to do because it's got a grate over it, so he's not going to just tip in. I mean, he might get might be hot so True. you uh you smack this colossal guard back uh and he kind of trips over the low hanging uh rail and just boom falls a little bit on his ass on the hot grate and it singes him and he's gonna take a little bit of fire damage Woohoo! Nice. just to be clear while i'm doing stuff i did not surprise it with an attack did i i didn't know this is not a surprise okay. round okay um, We're all equally I, surprised. I will uh, then hit again. Ooh, so that's yes. 11 damage. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Uh, with uh, rage. Ooh, yeah, another kung. The sound of a bell ringing out from this huge armored knight. And that will be uh, my turn. I'll end my turn there. Okay, next are the mage's turn. Uh, well, all the knight's turns, because they went back to back in the initiative order. So uh, this mage over here is going to cast telekinesis on that uh, brazier next to you, Word. I, word, and it's no! it's going to fall over, and the fire is going to spread over the floor in a line, and both Word and Lyra are going to need to make dexterity saving throws. Excuse me, sir. It, it does not reach Fritz. Oh. As it tips <laughs> over... Oh. Boom. Okay. Ooh, unfortunately, both of you, as the fire oh, spreads oh, over oh, the floor oh. on your and heating up your feet, you're both going to take uh sixteen fire damage. Jeez. Oh, I miss my. having evasion. I think I still take half as a rogue, right? Uh yes. You still take half. Of uh, sixteen, did you say? Or uh yes, sixteen, which would be yeah. eight. Yeah. Well, goodbye, temp HP. It was nice to know ya. <laughs> and this one is going to try and cast telekinesis on you, Buck. So you need to make no. a... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where does it say? A strength uh, make that with save. Advantage because of... You are raging. Oh, Ooh, that's not going to be enough. Ooh. And he is going to throw down. you back into the fire <laughs> into fritz boosh oh, and fritz you can make a dexterity saving throw as you're dodging a bugbear okay fritz oh yeah there oh wait it is. there we go oh they're just there really lagging they're just yeah really it's lagging. okay well my first one was the one i did yeah, yeah. we'll I take the first one I'm you dodge out of the way bad. so I'm you don't sorry. you don't okay. take any damage from dodging this bugbear it's, he's, and he's an improvised <laughs> weapon um, Buck. Hey, I'm more than that. <laughs> you're bashed against the wall, and you are knocked prone as well. Okay. As you fall on your ass, and you are going to take, uh, oh, only six, reduced to three bludgeoning damage. All right. Oh, that's my temp. I have temp HP. Yes. 
And these two are going to go and take slashes at the fragile ones. Since they hey. notice. Hey, those are my fragile ones. They're going to use <laughs> their swords. Let's see. This one is going to attack Lyra twice. Two swipes. One hits. Okay. And you're going to take, luckily, eight slashing damage from this guard. And this one is going wow. to slash at Fritz. Oh, uh, both of them miss Fritz. Oh, I'm just a wiggly little guy today. And this one, <laughs> the big one, is going to get up off of the grate, and he is going to take his uh, halberd, kind of bang it against the ground, dung, dung, and all the other guards in the room have a very dim glow about them. Oh, a buff. <laughs> and you can see that they, uh, we even kill first. they all look energized. Lyra, your turn. All right. Well, I'll have a question for later, but for now, where is it hiding on my spell list? Ah, yes, there we go. Well, it's very obliging of these guys to put themselves in the space of a 15-foot cube in front of me. <laughs> so let's cast Thunder Wave real quick. Ooh, nice. So that's a DC 15 con save from all three of them. Okay. Uh, I believe. 15 yes. con save. Let me, well, yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they all fail. Great, uh, it's not oh. that much thunder damage, but... Uh, it does knock them they, back, correct? Yes, it knocks them back 10 feet away from me. Okay, yes. One, yep. Boosh, 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 back into the grate. He goes. <laughs> Cast you back into the fire around. with you! <laughs> More fire damage. Yeah. And he's uh, going to need to make a concentration check, and he makes it. Are they, Are they prone? I think uh, that does knock them prone, correct? Thunder wave? It says, on a failed save, they're pushed 10 feet away from me. It doesn't specify that they're knocked prone. Oh, mm, okay. 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 Uh, Must be I'm also going to, play. as a bonus action, uh, spend two of my uh, Bomb of the Summer Courts on myself to get <laughs> regain 2d6 hit points. Let me just roll that here. All right. Oh, nice. Sweet. That puts me almost back up to full. Fritz. Your turn. Okay. Um. Hey, let's, I am going to shoot this guy directly in front of me mm -hmm. and cast guy. Hail of Thorns. Ooh. So I think I do it. Pew. Now I, I'm pretty sure Hail of Thorns only hits targets within five feet. I thought it was on hit. Uh, well, oh, yes, it's on hit. It but spreads out from them five feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, but. So it does extra damage to him because he's not close to anybody. But it leaves, else. but it leaves the terrain there. Does it? It does. I don't I'm remember it sure leaving it a leaves terrain. It, turns it into a terrain, doesn't it? Um, Hold on. Next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack, a spell ends. The spell creates a rain of thorns that sprout <coughs> from a ranged weapon. In addition, the normal effect of the attack: the target attack each creature. And then five foot make a dexterity roll. I thought it made difficult terrain. Oh no! I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. Never mind. We're okay. Uh, if you if you wish to retract that because it's not going to hit anybody else, but um, that's but if you still want to do it just to focus target this <laughs> one guy, we can we can do it. Just fuck this guy Does in particular. It do extra damage. It says yes. nineteen. It, yeah, uh, fuck it, fuck that guy in particular. All right. <laughs> okay. And, all right. So, Sorry, I forgot it wrong. Oh, my voice is dying okay. again. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you fuck this guy in particular. You pierce, and the the thorns just like bombard his armor, and he's looking pretty oh, I rough I can imagine the clanking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ping, ping, ping. Uh, you also have a second attack if you wish to use it. Oh, I thought because it was a spell that counted as a second well, attack. You know what? I'm just going to hit him again. The spell is uh, <laughs> is a bonus action, and you use oh, yeah, an you're attack right. uh, with your action. Ooh, crit! Ooh. Whoa. Wow, really well, fucked crit. this guy in particular. All right, yeah, that, that crit's going <laughs> to do it, and you uh, knock this guy out cold. All right, word. Actually, uh, Fritz, uh, you still have movement. Do you choose to move anywhere? Where the fuck could I move? Um. Well, I I guess I'm just gonna move right there. All right. Now it's Word's turn. 
I run over here. I shoot this man with Black Hawk yet again, except I have advantage thanks yes. to Buck. Thanks, thanks to, to Buck, Buck so which gives me does go off. Big damage. Big damage, and he's going to have to make a concentration, and that's going to break his concentration. The uh, dim glowing gold from all of the other guards just goes out. Bonus action, dash. Dash. Oh, oh <laughs> next to the mages. Surprise, bitch. Have fun casting your spells with my dagger right next to you. <laughs> well done. Buck, your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to use half of my movement to get up off of the ground. Get up off of and that. And then thing. get up off of that ground. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, so can I re uh, how far deep into this pit is this guy? Uh, it's not that deep. Like the grate is like ankle height. Um, like y you could step up onto it if you needed to. Can I pick up this guy and throw him <laughs> down onto this guy? Uh, with a successful athletics check, you can, which you have advantage on gonna, now that I'm you're raging. Risk it. Oh my god. Uh, okay, let me. Let him cook. And oh my god. Yeah, you go Let's and reach <laughs> for this guy's like an ankles, and he's like, what are you doing? No, 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 no. And you are going to bash this other guy, yeah? I'm just kind of, yeah, I imagine he's heavy enough that if I throw him from at least some amount of height, it will do a little bit of damage. And then they'll both be stuck in the fire pit. All right. Um, give me an attack roll, I guess. Stuck uh, might be a strong word. Uh, a strength, I guess, since this is an improvised so weapon. Roll 1d20. And you will uh, have advantage since it's at advantage because of your previous thingy, which lasts until the end of your turn. Uh, let me just roll a... Oh, God, if you want to use it, I think it's just a non-proficient weapon attack. Yeah. Uh, roll which is plus a strength. strength. Yeah, you can just uh, roll strength. Oh, which is four. Uh, it so is going to be with advantage because you put advantage on this guy, right? Well, uh, no, well, uh, advantage is on the big yeah, guy. There, yeah, there is advantage on this guy. Yeah, on the big guy. Uh, well, no, 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 no. There's not anymore. It's the start of my the turn. The start. So. Okay, ah, I thought it was the end. Yeah, my yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crisis averted. Okay, well then, um, still a 20. <clears throat> doesn't matter because the 20 still hits. <laughs> and you bash this guy against, boom, the other guy. And he is just kind of laying atop, just like booking. And he's also going to take <laughs> fire damage. Idiot. Idiot. And he's nearly, nearly out as well. <laughs> and then I look at this guy. I also intend to throw him in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Word, throw him in the pit. <laughs> I'm not that strong. <laughs> Trip him into the pit. <laughs> Okay, anything else? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna count barbec the I'm, barbecue. <laughs> I'm gonna count the first thing as a grapple, which is one of your attacks. Okay. Uh, oh, so I get another attack? Uh, No, I mean like grabbing him and lifting him, I'm counting as a grapple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna use my whole turn to do that, so okay, I, yeah. there's nothing else I wanna do. No, you're not moving at all? Uh, I don't really, I only have like two oh, more Oh yeah, that's true. Movies, you, you did so get up. I, I'll, I'll stay here. All right. Uh, now the two the the guards. Uh, this one is going to try and kind of get out of dodge. Word, you have an attack of opportunity. Yes. Let's just do a classic uh, negotiation. Well, not. Mm. This guy hasn't been damaged. Neither uh, of the mages have been damaged yeah, yet. Neither. No, I, I hit that guy with my first he, attack. Oh yes, right? you did. You hit. You hit oh, this guy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Lefty Magoo has been checked. Okay, so yeah, been the guy who's running away, I'm gonna use my closing argument, mm -hmm. and probably not. That, no, that's not gonna be enough. He gets out of the way. What kind of weak sauce mage wears armor. Comes over here, and he is going to cast silence in an area right around here. Which area? Uh, I'm gonna draw it once I realize the area. Twenty foot. Radius. Next week, same bat time, same <laughs> bat chat. So, so it is going to be. It's only going to catch one of you, and it's right there. Let me change that to a, to a line. Smart. Uh, it is opaque, and I'm gonna adjust it right. It's crushing there. me. It is crushing you. Boom! The area of Help silence. Me. <laughs> right there. So, Lyra and Buck. You cannot cast any spells that require verbal components. Or oh, do no. anything that requires verbal. I know. Such a devastating blow to the barbarian. That actually is pretty rough for me. <laughs> and this one is going to go over here and do the same to try and cover their bases. 
Boosh right here. So Fritz, you are, you also cannot cast any spells that require verbal components. Ah, you know what? It's okay. I <laughs> Arrow, fuck you. <laughs> this one is going to hop off of the fiery grate and try and grapple you, word. You may make your uh, con competing athletics or acrobatics. Oh. oh, he grabs you by the collar no. and has you held. You coward. You go a punch in. my boy in there. <laughs> so put a net here. And this Plunk one it. is going to come over here. And it's going to throw a javelin at... That's an attack of opportunity for Buck, actually. Is it? Oh, yeah, because Bugbear go, go Arms. Gadget, bugbear Arms. Bugbear Arms. All right, go ahead, Bugbear Arms. Uh, regular roll. Ooh, not enough, unfortunately. This is a very Aww. tanky boy. It's going to throw a javelin at Lero. I've just been standing here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I did hit them with lightning, but, well, thunder. Thunder, yes. Ooh, and this one is going to just, like, bash into your shoulder. Sheesh. And you are going to take a 10 piercing damage. Oh, okay. I think that's all the guards are going to do. Lara, your turn. You've been laid into. Yeah, that wasn't great. Um, well, I suppose I will have to use my action to wild shape. Uh... <laughs> so for silence, you can't get any sound into it either, right? That's true. And it, also an interesting thing is, would you be able to tell where they cast it? Or are you kind of walking around blindly until... I'm going to say for simplicity's sake, you know where it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in-universe? Probably not. You would have to, like, walk in and out. It's a very interesting spell, like, to think about. Well, that's okay. Uh, the problem is because I wild-shaped, I can't uh, attack this round because it's an action. Um, but uh, I can certainly maneuver around a little bit. Mm -hmm. What'd you turn into? Panther, again. Nice. Well, just 5, 10, 15. I'm setting up to charge at uh, the guy who's near the portal. But, because I can't attack him this round, uh, no point in using my entire charge. Yep, we're good. All right. Fritz, your turn. Okay. Um, I'm silenced, but that doesn't mean I can't move. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, how was it to do the... Ah, ah, okay. There is 30 feet. I'm going to move over here, because mm -hmm. I just want to keep distance from everyone. And... I'm gonna throw two crossbow alt bow thingy. Oh, actually, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one into that guy. Fuck that guy. All right, fuck that guy. Free word. He's grappling word. Woohoo! Ooh. All right. Uh, that's gonna do it for this guy. He grabs word, and word, you're like, fight me like a man, and then he's about to do a little bit of a slappage, and. Boom, knocked out cold by a stray <laughs> bolt from a crossbow. Slappage. Wait, so he's not dead? No, he's knocked out. Okay, cool. And yep. Thank you, Fritz. We've been good guy KOing um... these people the whole time. <laughs> Fritz <laughs> doesn't hear me. Uh, Fritz is like, he's so ungrateful. Why didn't he thank me? <laughs> so ungrateful. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Guy by the hey. lock gone. <laughs> guy by the lock is almost dead in one shot. <laughs> and he's gonna lose concentration on one of the silences. Yeah, there we go. This silence is gone. Boosh. I can speak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Word. No oh boy. Uh. They're no longer grappled. This isn't the most convenient situation ever, but um, clunk clunk clunk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're fighting a losing battle. Oh, all right. Ooh. Uh, unfortunately, it's only going to be... Well, that's enough. That's 10 damage. Yep. He's knocked out cold. Just a little burning. Ah! Oops. He's still on fire. Should I... Eh, whatever. <laughs> just roll him over. <laughs> Put the fires out. Uh, well, hold on. How did I go? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Back. <laughs> Buck. I'll, uh... Before I move into the silence, I'll be like... Come on, big guy. Don't make me put you back in there. 
referring to this. Put it back you can in see the he's, soup. he's a little shaken when he looks at the grate and looks back to you. If you could see him sweat, he would be. Okay. Um, but I'm going to move here and I'll hit him with a big blind. Ooh, That's all right. 12. Yep, 20's going to hit. A bang. 12 damage. And then I can move him five feet because it's the oh, turn, no, so. <laughs> not again. <laughs> I'm Back in the soup. Direction. Back in the soup. Back in the soup. He's gonna take a little bit more fire damage, and he is looking roughed up. He's very exhausted now. I'll hit him again. Oh, yeah, Bang. yeah. Yeah, that's gonna damage. knock him out. Boosh. He's a Spider-Man defeated the Rhino that one I'll time. I'll drag him. I'll if I can. Yeah, I'll drag put him, him like off of the grate. <laughs> That was a fully disrespectful fight. We just... <laughs> There's still one guy right, left. How much, I gotta see how, much, how much I gotta see how much I did. So I'm here. You tenderized here, him. Here. Oh yeah, so I have enough to get into. I can get over here. Okay. Uh, so I'll end my turn right there by that guy. All right. Just to let him sweat a little bit. Yeah. This mage. I'm hey. gonna throw him in. I'm gonna throw you <laughs> in too. <laughs> And you hear a muttered under the mage's breath, well, then I've got nothing to lose. And oh. it is going to cast Fireball. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't ask how big mm. the room was. I said I cast Fireball. And it is going to ca- uh, catch both Buck and Word. And need both of you to... Um, oh, this is like a little baby Fireball. Okay. You need to make a dexterity saving. I think it's centered on himself, which is the reason it's not good. Like, he's not trying to hurt all of us. He's trying to hurt himself. Or it's like over here, so he catches. Is that where, is that where, where is the fireball center? Let's see, on? hold on, let me. Good question. Oh, from him. How is, how, how big is fireball's he's radius? It would be over, I think it's a 30 foot. 30 radius. feet. Uh, yeah. 20 foot, yeah. Uh, it's not huge. Is it 20 foot radius or diameter? Oh, wait, radius. Yeah, that's way bigger. Um, so that's 40 so feet across. Teacher, did we have homework? <laughs> is it, is it almost the whole room he could do? The, if he did um, it in the middle. That is, yes. Uh, let me just do like some he's quick maths. Hurt. He's going to get himself probably no matter unless he puts if, it. If not, I'm going to double the damage on him. I have an item. Uh, it would be able to catch everyone except Fritz. Even if it, if it wants to catch Word, it will not catch Fritz. So he's going to do it right here. Okay. So yeah, all three of you need to make dexterity saving throws. I got so, so yeah, you, you got, got seven. I have uh, my uh, uh, panther dexterity panther of dexterity. plus two right now. So I, ha- I have my barbarian feature where I have dexterity a- advantage on against effects that I can all right. see. Yep, you can certainly see this. It's a big ball of fire. Uh, uh question. Mm-hmm. Stipulation for the gem of blades: once once per short rest, when hey. you receive damage from a source within ten feet of you, you may spend your reaction to deal half the damage back to the source. He's not within ten feet of me, so I can't do it. But would that be the caster or the fireball itself? Um, the caster. Okay, cool. That's good to know for the future. But <laughs> okay, all of you are going to take only half damage, and the damage is going to be. I take a quarter. Thirty-seven. What's half of thirty-seven? Ah! <laughs> 18. Uh, 18. All right. All of you are going to take... I'm not a panther anymore, guys. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. And he is going to swift spell. He's a sorcerer. Whoa. And he's going to do it again. No! No! Oh God. <laughs> but now I have to use my regular dexterity. Also, all of these guards are now dead. Oh, my God. Oh. So, um, does my... He lives... Uh, must be nice. <laughs> does does my um, ability that I have for raging? It says, "Oh, when a creature hits me with an attack roll." I guess this isn't really an attack. No, it is uh, unfortunately not. Darn useless bastard! Used my reaction so that I roll this normally. <laughs> okay, still gonna what take half. Oh, we're doing it again. Yeah, you do it again. Uh... Okay, all right. Uh, only Lara is gonna take the full damage. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> And oh shit, I don't have any, I don't know if I have any healings. Oh, I have a potion. That is going to be 30 to Lara, 15 to Buck and Word. I'm not unconscious. <laughs> uh... But the guard does look very exhausted after doing that. Lara, your turn. Let's flay him. Mm-hmm. Well, I was gonna do this the chill way. How much movement do I have? I feel like it's not that much again. 
Oh, All right, 30, 30 feet. feet. Sell it nature of these mages specifically. Let me just make sure. Um, Does anyone else notice that? Yeah. yeah they're, they're, well, this guy's willing to like... Was... So was the last guy. I had to kill him in our last like... session. They're all just okay. like gung-ho balls to the wall. I don't he like killed these other people. Yeah. There. There's something going on here that I don't like. These are like CIA agents we're messing yeah, with. Yeah, this is not my favorite. 10, 15. I'm just kind of skirting don't. the edge of the fire. <laughs> 30. You don't put the like low-level grunts in the secret facility, I suppose. Yeah. The true believers get to go here. They were burning okay. documents earlier. True. I like the whole idea of like having a, a combat end in death is usually super lame and takes away from the story but at this point it's like oh fuck we don't want that <laughs> uh second thunder wave <laughs> second thunder wave okay. i got close just for that boosh second thunder wave that is a constitution saving throw dc 15 uh -huh. dc 15 oh yeah oh he's knocked up against the wall and i'm gonna see that actually is going to knock the fire pit down as well boosh it is? So he's also going to take fire damage. Oh, yay. As it is knocked against the wall, it doesn't spread backwards. Uh, it just spreads in that direction. So in case you wanted, you were wondering, these braziers, whichever direction they fall in, they uh, do basically a 20-foot, like, line of fire. That's fun. But uh, yes, you know that now. And you knock. Ooh, and he is very roughed up, burning. He's nearly out. <laughs> And he also is going to break concentration on his silence. Shame. All right. Well, that's my turn. I'm out of wild shapes until we rest. Fritz. The devilish smile that came on my mouth when you were saying, like, he's almost dead. And I'm just like, well, what if I just... <laughs> Damn. Fritz, the last hitting machine. <laughs> Bing. Bong, knocked out cold with that. Oh, no, my finger slipped. Combat is over. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Bro, what are these bolts made out of? Hey. <laughs> My charred body wanders over to this mage and I slap his helmet. Yes, <laughs> dude. Ding. Is everyone all right? No. I, I drink a potion of healing and I pour like a drop on his helmet just like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I drink my other potion of healing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I have a po I have a potion of healing if someone needs it. I don't necessarily need it right now. I think. Are you uh, okay, Wood? I'm better I'm, now that I right. drink magic. Yes. Here, take this. I I'll give Lara my potion of greater healing. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Uh. It's uh. You want me to just roll it for you? Yes, Keep please. Going. Let me see if that works. <laughs> Damn. Well, it's only one. At least it's some healing. It's something. Yeah. Okay. I am still um, in great pain. I, d I don't have anything to help. I give, um, I give why would you ask? It's all right. I'm going to cast... Uh, oh, well, let's see. I have a few things. Uh, there is the possibility of a short rest that you guys could take. That might have to be the move. Um, Actually, yeah, I would benefit from that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to... Can I, like, rummage through these guards' pockets to see if I can find, like, a key? You can, and you do. You find an arc Whoa. one arcane key. Oh, my goodness. I found an... I think I found the key to the room, but maybe this key also goes to this over here. I hmm. suppose we should probably rest up before trying to... Yes, I think that would be advisable. Also, um... This guy's unconscious... And this guy's unconscious. And nobody else. Well, shoot. Uh, what's up, plan there? I mean, these guys were burning documents, you said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they have any of those documents on their person that they didn't yet get the chance to burn? Uh, you Round can give four. me an investigation. Sure. Uh, can I do a perception to look for pieces of paper? <laughs> you most certainly can. Uh, perception and investigation. Looking through them, you don't seem to find... Oh, that could have been perception? Can uh, I do that well, instead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. I, I was thinking okay. that you were, like, checking their bodies, but, like, checking around the room, I think, would be perception. Uh, yeah, you can roll it if you want. It did not help. <laughs> so, looking around the room, 
word, you notice um, that there would have been some notes lying around if they didn't get charred completely by the fireball. Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't yeah. say that. Yeah, there were still a few documents left on the big guy, but they're all cinders now. Does anybody oh. know that, that spell that mends things together? Yes. Will that actually work here? <laughs> yes, I have mending as a cantrip. I've had it the whole time. I've had mending the whole time. Uh, a single, well, but like rules as written, uh, uh, repair is a single break or tear in an object, such as a broken chain link to have the broken key, yada yada. yada. <laughs> as long as the break or tear is no larger than one foot in any dimension, you mend it. The whole paper. <laughs> the spell can physically repair a magic item or construct, but the spell can't restore magic to such an object. Word like pawing through <laughs> ash. <laughs> Let I mean, me see if I can find. You could probably, I'll, I'll tell you now, you could probably turn the ash into like a lump of coal. Huh. So I can mend it into something it previously was not? Yeah, because uh, unfortunately the paper turning into ashes is a chemical ah. change. I found the spell I was thinking of. It was spike growth. Spike growth. Ah, that I'm makes sense. Use your crazy diamond, reverse the damage we did. I'm going to go take a nap in this room over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're not taking a nap oh, in the fire he... room? <laughs> oh, we're not? What are... I like the fire right. room. Right, isn't we'll he just... Room. Is he dead or is he knocked out? I knocked think out. the guy he in the... knocked out mages, which you and, probably and, yeah. know a good amount of what they just destroyed. I'm, I'm going to use a sleight of hand and some rope to, to bundle up these guys like Christmas. All right. Yep. Bundle them. Bundle them up. Nice. Yeah, they're all wrapped up. There is no way they're escaping from this. Not without some help. No more somatic components for you. I think that's right. Yes. <laughs> it is. Although one of them is a sorcerer, so that might not stop them. Uh, and he'll shoot. I, I, I slap his helmet again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to rest up, and if anything happens, we'll deal with them. Yeah. I take a nap. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you are taking a short rest, you may roll as many uh, hit dice as you so wish to recover hit points, and you recover Fantastic. whatever short rest features you have that may be recovered on a short rest. All right. I forget what is recovered so, on short rest. My brain goes boo. I think there's a short rest. You should have seven hit dice, and then you can... Oh, mm -hmm. I get to roll them? Now, roll, being um, being on a short rest, you can choose to attune. So, word, if you would like to attune to that hand crossbow, you can. Would love to. Oh, can I, can I attune to my blade armor? Your blade mail? Blade yes, mail. you can. Yeah. Oh, this is unhelpful. Oh, okay. so I roll the hit die and I got a four, so I recover four HP. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, correct. You can do that uh -huh. like um, up to seven times per day between long rests. So I, I'm I'm just going up to full. I'm going to roll the last one. It should be a four. Yeah, that's roll fine. Another one. We're at max. Okay, hold on. Oh, nice. Because we might need it. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm not... Generally, what are the odds that you get two short rests between a long rest? Okay, it didn't apply for my health for some reason, but I just added it in my... Yeah, yeah I had to do the same thing. <laughs> all right. So, yes, you guys finish your short rest. All the guards are still knocked out cold because it's going to take a little bit longer for them to wake up since they were just bashed in their brains in. Um, yes. What do you, and you have an arcane key that goes to the locks, preventing you from the next room in this sort of underground barracks. What do you I wish to we do? Should. I think we move into the... Try and go to the next room. Oh, yeah, I, I think, think that's probably... These two rubes see exactly <laughs> why they were destroying stuff so fast. Did they know we were here? Hmm. I don't think we... I mean, unless we triggered some sort of... Um, like fail safe or something I feel like we've dispatched the guards and I haven't seen anybody like trip an alarm or do you, I mean you want to try and wake them up yeah I mean you did also say that that last piece of paper said that they found out new information but the, the people in the past room with the kobold they were still messing with the blot so I, I don't know what's going on here can I shake the one who was not about to kill himself? The one who maybe has yeah. more to lose? Yeah, you, uh... I'm gonna plug the nose of this one. <laughs> oh. oh! As in, kill him? No, no. <laughs> Wake him up. <laughs> but I guess after Buck does his thing. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I think you... we're only waking up one at a time. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. All right. all right. You wake that one up, and he's all tied up, and he seems very barely conscious and raises his head to look at you. I'm, like, holding him like a baby. Like, not, like, I'm holding him like you You hold a baby with a stinky diaper. Just oh, over arm's <laughs> length. Arm's length, yeah. Um, That's not what I thought you were going with. I'm holding him like a baby. Yeah, no, I, I realized where I was going when I said that, so I wanted to be clear about what I, what I actually meant. Um, like arm's length is over the pit of fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's my that's my point. Ah, I take a step forward. You'll have advantage on any intimidations you wish to do. Woo okay. Um, you're gonna. T we got some questions for you. Um. All right. Who wants to start? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. We're just slowly broiling him while we think of something to ask him. Give him a minute, yeah. Now just be, just, just to be real clear, if I, if we think you're lying, liars make my arms extremely tired, and I don't know how much longer I can hold you here. All right. Why were you burning the papers? Uh, well, the order came from the top down. Uh, they didn't tell us why. They just said to do it. How when? long ago? Yeah. 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 Say, yeah. Uh, he said. <laughs> earlier this morning, they gave us a stack of the things. What is it that you were burning? Uh, we don't know. Uh, they explicitly ordered us not to look into the contents. Oh, my arms sure are getting <laughs> tired with that answer that you're giving me. Uh, I promise, I, I really, we really don't know what they are. You didn't even sneak a single peek. Trust me, if we disobey orders, there are far worse things that they have prepared for us. Insubordination in our line of work is not tolerated lightly. Ah, just like your insubordination now. Buck, are your arms okay? They look really shaky. Uh, they're, t they're fine. They're fine. Maybe hurry up on the questioning, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me an intimidation with advantage. Like, accidentally drop? <laughs> uh, he, me? He fails yes. a single death save uh, and immediately drops it. I'll take words. Um, yeah. And he's sh shaking and kind of like trying to wiggle out of his binds. I promise you, I I don't know. M maybe the others may have seen it. I I'm, I'm not sure, but I don't know anything. Don't wiggle so much, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can put him down, Buck. I don't think we'll get anything more from him. All right, I'll I'll move back. All right. Can can I search the pockets of all of them to see if they have any papers left? Uh, you easily can, no yeah. check needed, but oh. they don't they don't have anything. Oh the fact that the guy filled the room with fire kind of made most of the paper evidence go bye-bye. Yeah. So what's, Bastards. so look, we found this. I'm going to show him the key. Um, what's in that next room? Um, mm, well, that room is the one we were protecting and guarding. Uh, I presume that's where, um... Mistress Bazatan and Lord Tahiro have their meetings, I think. Uh, I'm just a grunt. I I'm not fed much of the information, I promise. You might want to consider a new line of work if you get out of here. Well, there's very... It's working for me. In, in Traveseta, there's <laughs> few <Hello>? opportunities <laughs> that are outside of those two. There are did he hear, did he hear opportunities locally. <laughs> the grind never stops. That could be quite... Uh, yeah advantageous for somebody like you a loyal and i pat him on the head a nice loyal man i'm also like standing on the edge i was gonna say <laughs> like the dramatic lighting is great but the coat's definitely starting yeah. to singe at the bottom <laughs> give me a persuasion check okay uh, oh i really why isn't mine higher new best friend new best, best friend, friend. <laughs> listen if you can guarantee my safety if i were to leave this place and leave uh, the command of uh, mistress baztan if you can somehow guarantee that i'll make it out here of here alive i'd be happy to join you but honestly with how much is under both of their wings i doubt it you must be a miracle worker if you can get that done more than that, I'll strike a deal with you. We have three allies in your silly little base right now. If you go meet and protect one of them, then we can secure your safety. But if, you know, if you, like, mess around and try to kill one of them or escape or cast your silly spells, I, I will hunt you down. What's your name? Um, <laughs> immediately after I will hunt you down. <laughs> Well, uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, actually, you know, if we're friends, it does. If it doesn't, I'll hunt you down anyway. 
What's your name? All right, my name is George. George, <laughs> you're my new best friend. It's not Steve. <laughs> Someday we'll find a Steve. That there's a friend of mine back there named Gola. All right. Oh, uh, that is the cobalt that they were experimenting on. That'd be the one. The ease with which you said that does not inspire confidence in your moral character. I think that's already established. Say what you will, but Travisetta is not a place for the privilege of morals. Hmm. Fair enough. Sorry, aside, you're my friend. That's my friend. These dead guys around you, they're not my friends. Do you get the picture? Uh, I do, and I will try my best. But I'll be honest. I mean this as a as a means of hoping that you understand. Things go south. I've got to look out for my own skin. And you'll be doing that for the time being inside of a crate. Huh? What are we threatening him with? I think we're it, like telling him to hide in the crate with Gola. Oh. Yeah. oh I got it. <laughs> I understand. I, oh, I can like, right. guide him there if, if need be, but I'll just be like, see that big guy? Yeah, he died because he didn't like us. See these guys? Th uh, yeah. So, so go sit right there. I think <laughs> the big guy's technically not dead. The, the other one that's not out. in this The big guy's room. knocked out. Yeah. All right. And uh, he, he will be He's hiding. Like, <laughs> are you going to keep his hands nice. bound or are you going to let him? Maybe we should leave that up to Gola. He's going to be protecting him. He can't really protect him if his hands are bound. Meat shield? <laughs> well, okay. I'm gonna give good trust in him. I feel like he was properly persuaded. If not, I, <laughs> that I, that I, will, I will find a way. <laughs> All right. For the time being, I'm gonna put him over here with Gola. He's gonna hide with him. Gola seems very confused, not mad or upset at this. He's just like, wait, what? Like. like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. All right, then. Okay. Arcane key. Are you going to use the arcane key on the lock? Yes. Everyone's hit points are at a good level, right? Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Would you like to save your game before proceeding forward? Right. Oh, no. <laughs> There's an awful lot of health <laughs> kits in this room. I snacks and all my potions, and I double buff my friends. So, yes, yeah. so the lock dissipates, as does the key, leaving the remaining teleportation circle on the floor available to be used. Use, use, use. Let's do it. Mash that A button. All right. You go on into the teleporter. Oh, no. We skip past important cutscene dialogue <laughs> on accident. And appear <laughs> in the next room. And when you do, you notice that inside... Let me play some music. Oh. 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 Inside the room, uh, you notice that there are several pillars holding up the ceiling and a couple of more magma vents. And in the center of the floor is a large glowing symbol, identical I... to the mysterious symbol that you found sketched on the piece of parchment. And in it, in the room sharing it with you, are four humanoids, all who have seem to have anticipated your arrival by the lack of surprise on their faces. And the teleporters behind you dim and discolor. They've been deactivated. Uh-oh. The four humanoids are three of them familiar to you. Lord Nicholas Tejero, Father Omar, Lucia Bastan. Oh. But the fourth you don't recognize. It's a portly dwarven man kind of on the far side of the room with a cane holding him up. Hmm. This is what you see. Dude, what? Huh. I think we found what the dragon ritual looks like. Yeah. And uh, the elderly dwarven man um, speaks up and addresses you. You can see that he is very Ugh. well dressed. Ugh. He's very elderly. He has quite a few. No spots. beard. What happened to him? <laughs> Here we go. Ah, hello, pilgrims. It seems that you found our place of meeting. I'd congratulate you. I'd give you a, a special seat to one of you if I could. Well, welcome. Let's talk, shall we? I've seen what you've been doing to my facility. There's no need for more bloodshed, I think. This is your facility? Oh, and of course. You're smart. You can guess who I am. 
Let's pretend I'm not <laughs> smart. Uh, I don't think I wrote down his name. He's the, the, the guy in the last note. Yeah. The king of the honor firm. He's the... Uh, I'm sorry, Joe. You even have it written down in... Uh... Nope. No name was mentioned. I'm wondering if it's the king of the underthrown society. That's the... As a, a title, though, was it in chest? Um... Unless the king is uh, Omar. The Prabath? Oh, the, the, pro the Prabath? I don't think he's the Prabath. No, I don't think he's like, the Because they were like, kill him at all costs, and they're all hanging out. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what did he say? Is it just... He do said, you, do you, you probably pro know who I am. We might. <laughs> do you know who we are? <laughs> Beyond our I title. Oh, why, of course you're... Buck, Bakara, Word of Satya, Fritz, which is what you go by now, I hear, and Lyra, the pupil of Shemaya. Did I get that right? You're very well informed. I mean, you do have Grandpa Omar standing next to you. Oh, why, of course. Where's it alone. going, Omar? Omar just kind of uh, waves. Uh, it's nice to see you, Word. You too. Yes. Well, of course I'm well informed. I'm king of the Underthrone. Oh, oh yeah. Good job. Right. Golf claps, everybody. Ivan, I nice guess... to meet you. You wanted to talk? What, to what did you want to talk about? Oh. I assume <laughs> you have many questions, yes? I'll let you have the floor first. Uh, granted, we are currently very clearly with blood on our fingers at an impasse. Negotiations are definitely at hand. And I'm curious if you have proper justification. And as you're talking with him and you look upon him, you hear the voice of nonstop begonias in the back of your mind. Boss, this, what is it you mortals call? Smell. This one is familiar. Uh-oh. It's a problem. <laughs> All right, I, I, I <laughs> keep that crawling on the back of my neck for a minute. So you ask him what his motive is, you were asked? You were... It just, I, I was asking, um... So obviously we're here. We've killed your lackeys. Well, we, we didn't kill we those guys. That guy filled awesome. the room with one. one. <laughs> we killed like one. I, I'm <laughs> asking him, why are we having a civil dispute right now? What's their <laughs> argument to make us not be hostile? Oh, oh, of course, of course. Well, you see, I wish to maintain peace and prosperity in Olynthia, and well, the path that you're walking right now is a threat to that. And I believe that the least amount of collateral damage can be achieved if we simply come to an agreement. You're well informed. What's the path that we're walking right now and where does it lead? Well, the path you walk right now is one that is not your place. I, I mean no disrespect by that. All of this, you see, is a big machine and the pieces need to fit perfectly. And you are at threat of breaking that machine. If Trevisetta is your model of peace and prosperity, I don't think Alinthi would survive its widespread execution. Oh, but that's where you're wrong. Trevisetta is only a, merely a small part of the whole thing. Can I do like a vibe check on Lord Tejero real quick? <laughs> Uh, you most certainly can. Yeah, Give me what, are, an what are the other ones? I want like... to know how Lord Tejero feels about being a part of this guy's grand plan and not the boss. Mm -hmm. But also being confronted by us in this moment. Like, is anyone mm. reacting strangely? Okay, yeah. a, a quick glance without the insight check. You can see that they are all um, kind of as if they are at a meeting. They're paying attention. They're very, um, like, per receptive of what's going on and letting uh, almost like their boss speak on their behalf and uh, are mostly straight faced. Lo uh, Lucia Baztan is a little like rolling her eyes and beset by you guys being there, a little upsetty spaghetti, but she's holding her tongue. Lord Tejero almost seems like he has no emotion to be read from his face. And um, Father Omar is almost enjoying himself. Like he's uh, as if he's seeing old friends but you can give me an insight check for further information okay. on what the vibe seems to be. Not proficient in this, but... Eh. Can I piggyback that, or...? Uh, you most certainly can. All right, we'll take the 17. Looking <laughs> at Lord Tejero, 
Uh, he seems as though your presence is very annoying to him, as if he was in the middle of something. Well, what else is new? Yeah, seriously. But uh, he seems to not have, what you can tell, no ill will towards uh, Ivan, King of the Underthrone. And he's just as if he's ready to go do something else right now. He's a man of action. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you've, you've got our backs up against the wall here. Uh, we're here in your sanctum. What is it that you're asking of us? I only wish to maintain the peace. And that means every peace needs to know its place. See, Lord Tejero, Miss Baztan, Father Omar, and I, we all work as a unified force to make sure all is in its place. You know, for I have a vision to protect Alinthi. And that vision needs to be realized from a threat. Okay, so your threat is hypothetical, keeping that in note, but I do have further questions. If you want everything to be in its place, that means you know every place that everything has to go, which means you have a lot of answers to a lot of our questions. I do. Unfortunately, one of those places involves you not knowing. I'm sorry to say, much as I like to keep as many people in and the loop. And who loop. gives you the authority to do that? Oh, well, I do. The one with all the cards. You, word, must know that information is power, yes? I can't simply an extent. give that up. The nice thing about secret information is that when someone else knows it, you still think it's a secret. That is true. But let me ask you something, pilgrims. What would you do if something you love was at stake? Under more dire circumstances, would you ever take the chance to let it be? I'd study it and understand the nature of the threat. Most things exist in a balance when not struck out of it. I think that you have a very simplistic assumption of the way the world works, and you're blundering through it blindly, thinking you have all the answers. Oh. And the sacrifice that you're making in the process is inexcusable. Have you seen the city? The very people that you are supposed to steward, you sacrifice them in the name of some mindless conspiracy. It is out of the equilibrium that you are describing, saying that everything is perfect and has its place. Everything's out of whack, and you all seem very comfortable. Oh, unfortunately, yes, there have been many sacrifices we had to make, but in dire circumstances, what would you do? Uh, you've you've made you didn't many sacrifice anything. Oh, but you've made many friends, many loved ones. A, a humble little town of inventors south of Nuba Sky, a, a reformed pirate and tavern keeper there as well. And he looks over at Word, a warforged man of cloth in Palitrios, uh, uh, one of your uh, relatives that works. Oops, in I space. see the cards that you're playing. Are you sure that you're comfortable enough to name? everything that you are threatening me with right now. Oh, this is no threat, Sonny. Trust me. But I can see it in your eye. How quickly would you attack a threat to their way of life? Something that is teetering on the edge to destroy them. Really not as quickly as you. Why do you feel so threatened? because I and my family have worked hard to bring about this glorious kingdom. And you are about to step on that hard work. What are you talking about? We're, we're the pilgrims. We're, we're tasked with bringing the hearts of the, uh, of the dragons yes. to the laugh tree to, to, to ensure that everything goes the way that it's supposed to. That's what we signed up for. Indeed. And had you been following your job's description, you would be halfway over to Aguna by now. But no, you're here with me. And I need you to understand that you do not know your place. So I will give you one final ultimatum. You forget about all of this. You continue on your pilgrimage. You bring the hearts of Linthi to Corencia, and all goes according to plan. Hmm. Okay, we might need to step back from the situation here. Hold on. But that seems really funny to me. Hold on. 
So, you know our job is to collect the hearts and take them somewhere. I'm sure you were where your little friend in front of you wanted us to hand a heart over to him, right? So aren't you getting in the way of our job too? I can see that our talk is getting us nowhere. I just trying to follow an understanding. You want us, you are very clear on what our job is, but it seems you are also interfering in our job at the same time. I just want to make sure if we don't interfere, you don't either. I think perhaps we've come to an agreement then. I'm not so sure. I wouldn't say agreement, I'm just keeping an ear out here because we need the hearts to do our job. But one of your friends seems to want one of the hearts. Wouldn't you agree that's kind of stepping into our territory? I admit we've had to make some drastic measures that may have eaten into some of my philosophy, but I assure you it is all a part of the plan. Contingencies, if you will. But You said your family's been shaping this country and its well-being for generations? Indeed. Indeed. What's your family's name? That's of no concern to you. But how are we supposed to play our role if you take from our role? Very well. I apologize for interfering. And, should this agreement go through, the Underthrone will leave you be. So you're asking that we forget this happened and continue along to Aguna and finish our quest to bring the hearts to the laugh tree and then what? And then your job is done. If our roles run, what happens to us after? You live a happy, prosperous life and Alinthi continues on. What happens to the people here in Trevisetta? What happens to the people who are, who've are who been infected by your blot? What happens to the blot? They are, unfortunately, a part of the bigger plan. <laughs> Nature has no grand plan, and it's mortal hubris to inflict one on it. I think you don't know what you're doing. Generations of delusion have shaped a world that you believe is your destiny. But you're wrong, and you're sacrificing people in its pursuit, and I won't stand for it. Very well. If you'll not see the light, then darkness will surely take its place by your side. May its suffocation be brief. Lord Tejero, and Lord Tejero steps up, and you can see the sigil beneath him dimly glow with oh. each step he takes. Oh, shoot. And I uh, use my scroll of invisibility. Ooh. You most certainly can, but any action you take before... Uh, well, yeah, go ahead and use it. I'm going to step in between... <laughs> in front of whatever is about to happen. <laughs> All right. Um, can I But I, before before I do that, I want to like look back at Lara and give uh her like a nod like I agree with you. Like Okay, oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the executive I'm, decision. I yeah, no, no. I it, it ruled. It was awesome. And also the what the you know, the thing about suffocating the darkness that shit ruled as well. So yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, that was fucking sick. Yeah. Can I Am I allowed to... I guess it's an action, so I don't know if I'm allowed to. But I'd wanted to prepare a uh, protection from good and evil on Lyra. I will say all of you can prepare one action to do before combat starts. Okay. <laughs> so word, I'm going to say you drinking that invisibility potion would be it. Oh, it was a scroll. A scroll of invisibility, rather. My mistake. Shoot, okay. <clears throat> Fritz, uh, you are casting protection from good and evil on Lyra? Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks. Um, just in case. Mm -hmm. Can I, before word goes, because he was close to me, can I grab his hand and give him a bolstering magic? Aw. <laughs> yes, you can. Let's fucking kill these guys. Let me share this. I don't know if that's shared. Uh, <laughs> it's the, word, for 10 minutes. Fucking shaking. So you just basically oh. get like a D3 on any ability check or attack roll for the, for the next 10 minutes. Cool. I already did Ooh. that. On... No, no, no. It just happens. 
I only get a, I only get a couple <laughs> of them. I've already used, and I, and once I use it on you, I can't use it on you again until the, at a long rest. I already used one on Lara to re restore one of her spell slots earlier in the quest. Cool. Thanks. But I only get three. Invisibility stipulation is whether you you make an attack or a spell. You could do so much outside of that. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Is that uh, everything everyone is doing? I think Lara, you still have one. I yeah. Thing. I'm I'm looking through. I am actually physically shaking. Me too. I, I just beat the shit out of one of them. Long time coming. Just one of you get, get within hammer range. Uh, <laughs> the odds are that one of us definitely dies here. But <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense. If any of the person that you have ever created in this game has a hammerable face, it's Mr. Ivan the Elderly Dwarf, King of the Underthrone Society. <laughs> Bring your face into my hammer. Uh, I would <laughs> like an Alabama water person. I mean, he's a nightmare man. Uh, he's scary as hell. I don't like him at all. As an action, I would like to use my scroll of enlarge slash reduce on uh, Buck. I would like Ooh. to enlarge Buck. Whoa. All right, Buck, you are enlarged. <laughs> I'm going to count that as all of your actions and just yep. uh, okay. large. One of the few cases I'm going to do this. Just uh, it's all nothing is going to interrupt you guys. Just like this is just a scene that is going to play out. You're all good. You're all gonna have this. So, mm -hmm. Ivan calls for Lord Tejero, and he walks up, and you can see the sigil beneath him blinks and flashes, and the light, the arcane light, kind of seeping into his hands and going up his body. Buck, oh Bakara, Phelan, Beskires, Lyra, and Word, pilgrims of Satya, by the order of the Lordship, you are hereby relieved of your duty to deliver the hearts of Alinthi to Corencia. He looks over to Lucia Bastan. Miss Bastan. Due to your past blunders, you will be the one tasked with subduing these traitors. Do not disappoint me. He turns back to you. Goodbye, pilgrims. And the three of them teleport out of the room, leaving Lucia Baztan. Can he do that? And she takes a staff and conjures up a suit of armor to cover her. Oh gosh! <laughs> and cool. you humiliated me, pilgrims. I'll make sure to return the gesture in kind. And I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. Woo! All right. I have an awesome thing in the tank for if we need it, but I think I'm gonna save it for oh. the actual boss fight. I know this is silly. Is that the first time Fritz has heard their last name? Yeah. Is it? Oh, I damn. So. Well, you would know better yeah. than us. No, Fritz, the, that Phelan, was the first time they met their... with a B? I wasn't Fossil. listening. I'm not... Yeah, they know their name's Phelan, but... They start with a B? <gasps> Biscirez. How do I spell that? I want to add that to notes. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. Let me pull up the thing again. Another B party think... member. <laughs> Fritz, you're yeah, my cousin. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have a B name. <laughs> Where did I'm I... just checking. I'm because I don't remember, think you, my when we met. Um, wow, such a deadbeat dad. I don't remember his name. <laughs> yes, I said it once I... uh, from Deadbeat Dad. Uh, here we go. Oh, I'll put it in I the didn't chat. Catch it. Boop. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't have taken on my mother's last name. So huh? Right, it's good of course. To know it was that. Yeah, and I will add Lucia Baz Tan. She rolled. Shit. Nice. What a loser. Weak sauce. Dude, we're going to embarrass you in front of Tahero again when we beat you up. No, she dies. Okay. And, <laughs> let's see. Um, these guys are the anti. Yeah, anti yeah, these, yeah, these guys. Be replaced. There, okay, so there was a moment. I don't know if you saw just. Like, we were all lined up opposite different people, like, <laughs> uh, across the room. I don't know if anyone caught the parallel between that, uh, but that was really no. sick. Aww. So it was really cool yeah. for Lara to... Lara was, like, lined up opposite, parallel the, uh, uh, Ivan. Ooh. Word was, word was opposite of the, um... Tahero, uh, of Tahero. I was, yeah, and I, and Buck mm -hmm. was lined up, uh, opposite of, um... Lord, or, uh, uh, Father Omar. Oh, and Fritz, and, that's and, good. And Fritz was lined up opposite 
Uh, this one. Smimbalism. <laughs> the lizard. All right. Uh, word. You're up first. Get fucking stabbed. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that Negotiation closing argument. Ooh, all, all right. right. Yep, that's going to stab that through. That is actually going to be a automatic crit. Ooh. Using Ooh. closing right. argument. And she takes an additional five fire damage from Jeez. the oil. Jeez. All right. Um, so the fire damage she takes is six, 11 sneak damage, and then uh, I think, how do you do, Chris? 17. I um, basically, if it, you roll twice. So the piercing damage would be an additional uh, 1d4 plus uh, okay. three. I don't know how, I just do it the way um, roll 20 does it, which is roll twice. And I'm pretty sure sneak attacks crit too, right? Uh, mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so roll, roll another four d six. Okay. Damn. Holy shit! Ooh. All right. There we go. As you Double puncture her, uh, and you do one swift stab, and you can see, uh, kind of an icy Blazes. energy goes over your hand. You have broken her armor of Agathis. However, you are going to take. 30 cold damage. Word, no! Okay, I use my reaction to deal 15 cold damage to her. Ooh, ha! Oh my 30 god, cold boom! Damage. Whoa, Ganondorf Dur energy ball Dur tennis! She takes 16, I use uh, the gem of blades, dealing oh the half damage back yeah. to her. Fuck you. Yes, okay, just this big Jesus, explosion of, of icy cold shattering across her armor. She gets literally icy hot. Like, <laughs> the first thing I do is coat her in oil, set her completely on fire, deal fire damage with the dagger, and then return her frozen blast to her. So she's still coated in oil. Mm. I think for the next minute, any attack that deals fire damage deals an additional flat five. Nice. All right, Ooh. sweet. Some say the world I just kind of fall to the ground. You die. <laughs> Ooh. Woof. All right. Uh, anything else you want to do with your bonus action? Uh, my bonus action? That was to deal an automated crit. Oh, automated crit. All right, then. All right. I think so. Fritz, your turn. Then. All right. Um, summon beast. Summon Ooh. beast. Summon beast? What? Mm -hmm. It's just a little guy. What can you summon? Summon spirit? beast. Uh, I can summon a, a, a bestial spirit. Uh, you can cast a spell, choose an environment, air, land, or water, and I'm picking air. Air, all right. I'm just going to put a second Fritz token and just tint it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Perfect. it's a little bird. So that you have Small control over it. Um, make it mm -hmm. There we go. Um, I don't think it gets a turn until next turn, right? If I look correct. Uh, what's I haven't say? actually done this one before. Um, here, I think I can... There you go. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Um, oh, sorry, I just chat. realized. Whoopsie. That's okay. The creature is an ally. In combat, it shares your initiative, but it takes its turn immediately okay. after yours. Um, so, okay. yeah, it can uh, do stuff this turn. You right. just used your action so to summon it. Will... And then I get a second action if I'm correct. No, not correctly. a second action. You get a second attack if you attack, but... Yeah. Sorry, attack. Yes, that's what I meant. Sorry. Um, but so you didn't... I could fire my bow here. No, you no, cannot. You... Because you... Basically, I cannot. Okay. okay. You take the attack. Oh. If you, yeah. yeah, if okay. you attack, your action allows you to, to attack twice. Yeah. If you, you cast a spell, it's oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, then. Then with the bird, though, because the bird has one. Uh, do, 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 fly by. It says the beast doesn't, uh, doesn't provoke opportunity attack when it flies at... Uh, out of enemy's reach. Wait, what? I thought it was an attack. I am a little bit confused. I, I'm sorry, I'm trying something. Oh, uh, flyby, uh, it's not an attack. It's a feature of the uh, critter okay. that it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Yeah, no, it's got, it can it, basically move past the thing and smack it on the way, and it can't do anything about it. It has 30, How much 30 feet of movement, it seems. You maybe could have summoned it a little further away if you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, if you to. want to oh, retroactively can, like summon know. it, let's see. What's yeah, the it manifests it right next to her. Ninety feet. Yeah, you can. You could yeah. summon it right next to her if you wanted. Oh, okay. I her and then that. leave her attack mm -hmm. range after. Okay. Would it be okay if I do that? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Since it's your first time using the spell. All right. Yes. Now I know. All right then. I want to attack her and then I'm gonna fly over to. How do I ping again? I love that I remember things so easily. Ping, yep. I fly there. <laughs> yes. Uh, you have control of the token, so you can 
Ah, Okay, fancy. and then, so you're going to multi-attack then. Um, melee, it is your spell attack bonus. So what's your spell attack? It should be in your spell casting. Spell attack is plus five. Plus five. So roll a d20 plus five. Oh, it's because I go. capitalized the D. 16. Unfortunately, uh, this is going to just glance off of her plate mail. Just ping. That's all right. All right. And that is going to be the bird's turn. Lyra. Yes. Uh, so this is kind of a DM is this okay thing. Because mm -hmm. you said this is like a large room. Yes. Would you say it could accommodate call lightning? Ooh, <laughs> I would say so. Okay. Then I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say gonna it just takes up the whole room. Boop, boop. Vaulted dungeon 15. ceilings. Yes, yeah. uh, so it's a 60-foot radius centered on me, which does fill almost the entire room. Pretty much the whole room, yeah. Uh, I think... Yeah, standing there Oh, yeah, there no, the entire the room. room. Damn, okay. Well, I could have done this from anywhere, but I just wanted to be sure she was in it. Uh, so I'll just pop that sucker in the chat. Watcha. Whoops. Uh, well, I meant to just make it display, but that does look like a lot of damage. Uh, so on summoning mm. it, let me just, ugh, so many things happen. No turns for Lucia. Uh, <laughs> choose a point you can see under the cloud. Bolt of lightning flashes down from the cloud to that point. Each creature within five feet of that point must make a dex saving throw. So I'm just going to target uh, Ms. Baz Tan, but on the left, yeah. so that word doesn't need to make any saves. Um, so she needs to make a dexterity save or take uh, however much damage that Ooh, was. Yeah, that's uh, she's going to take the full thing as it zaps her, sure. and you can see her hands twitching. What's up? I don't know why it rolled an extra d10 of damage. Um, because um, hmm. I cast it at third level. I'm not using my single fourth level spell slot for it. Hmm. Um, Is it not supposed to be 3d10? It's supposed to, oh, it's supposed to be 3d10. Was it 3d10? I thought it was 4d10. Oh yeah, there's an extra d10 for some reason. I'll take the 21, so that's the first like 3d10. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I think it, it automatically does an extra 10 or an extra d10 if I'm outside in a storm when I cast it and I'm just mm -hmm. harnessing the lightning, but uh, yeah, so that works for me. Yeah, um, all right. Yeah, you yeah, zap so her was, good. Yep, yeah, that was the... Um, and because of that, uh, I'll wait until your turn's done. Uh, well, as a, a bonus action, I'm gonna throw a d6 of uh, healing to word. Um, so that's right. five. Nice. Oh my goodness, thank you. No nope. problem. Now, because of that, she is going to use a legendary action. Hey! Oh. She pulls out, she kind of waves around her staff currently in a sort of circular motion and draws a sigil that is the House of Baztan. Soldiers, protect me! Oh, come on. More guys? And she calls forth several Baztan soldiers. What, they just warp in? They <laughs> indeedly do. They indeedly do. Ooh! Ooh. <sighs> well, okay. Because <clears throat> when, it, when it looked like it was going to be us against the four boss fights, I was like, this might be bad. And then I was like, oh, it's just her. This might be good. Mm, no, but now you it's shouldn't bad have again. That. No. I, I didn't even say it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't even think it. I'm Don't sorry. It. All right. Cool. Next, Buck. You're big. I'm big. Um, I really want to hit this lady though. Uh. Oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> no, there's people over here. I should probably help protect them. Can I like? I know there's a pillar. But can I, like, get here? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I, will that... Can I squeeze in there? Yeah, I'd say you can. Okay. Um, let me hit a rage right quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, wild Surge. This one. And... Ah, oh, shit. Which... Rolled all yeah, roll your... Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, all good. I always... I, like, I've, I've hit the button, like, a billion times. Hey, it's times. the same I don't one. Know why. Nice. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Um, so now I will... A uh, reckless swing against the big boy by me. All right. Reckless swing. Show uh, me that attack with advantage. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Ooh. all right. Ooh. So that's actually going to be plus two plus 1d4. Put him I'm, in the soup. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry. So plus so <laughs> ninth so twenty six damage. Ooh, all right. Oh, ho, ho. Big bash. And when there's a big boy, I'm putting him in the soup. <laughs> You're putting yeah. him in the soup. <laughs> Put him in the soup. <laughs> so, Boom! Into the he's, soup. Soup. He's in the soup, and he also takes um uh he people have advantage on him. Well. Oh, all right. Uh, until the end of my next turn, and then or the beginning the start, of my yeah. next turn. Um. Uh, okay, uh, he's already in the soup. I'll hit uh, the small <laughs> one as well. Uh, hit them both. Small uh, one. Yeah, smallman. Smallman. All right, that's, that's a good that's hit. Twelve. That's fourteen plus one d four. Boosh! Nice. Almost completely out in one hit. Yay! Uh, and that's gonna be uh, my turn. All right. Next is Lucia Bastan and her army, her small army. So first, she's going to point to Lyra. You idiots, focus on the mage! Hey! And Lyra, <laughs> you see that when she points to you, there's a little bolt of fairy fire coming out of her finger. I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Rude, all right. How dare you. Pain. That's a flat 10, That's baby. That's a flat 10. You are fairy fired. Shoot. That means I have advantage Wait. on hitting me, right? They do. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the oh, protection it's for certain from... types of creatures, not spells. Damn yeah. it. It's all good. <laughs> and you can see that She's the guards are definitely looking at you. So this one is going to get over here. And he's going to go and smack you with cool. his sword. Damn it. And can he most certainly by? does smack you with his sword. And okay. And you're going to take... 12 slashing damage, so you need to I'm going to use my check. buckler parry reaction to reduce that by 1d8. Oh, all right. It's you not take... much, but it's <laughs> honest work. You take uh, 10 instead. Cool. Now you need to make concentration for your lightning. Shoot, that's correct. Uh, Just a concentration. You just con have to save. beat a 10. Yep. All right, fingers crossed. Yay. Nice. Whew. Uh, these two are going to hide behind the pillars to take some cover. And uh, seeing as their madam is under attack, they are both going to try and witch bolt you, Word. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, one of them latches on. Oh, fuck. And you are going to take 10 lightning damage. As you are us. now connected uh, via a rod or, or a, a bolt of lightning. To who and by how to far? This one here. I'll put a little blue mark. Boop. Okay. Latched on. How does on. Bolt work again? Basically... It's like a taser that attaches yeah. to you and then you can continuously electrocute them. It does Damn. take his full ah. action to reactivate it, but it's like 1d12 damage. Yeah, and he, he doesn't, doesn't have to make the attack roll again. again. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. This, this one is also going to run up and focus on you, Lyra, as commanded by their lord. Rude. He luckily is going to miss. Okay. And this one over here is going to come over here, and he is going to bash on the pillar. Boom! boom. And it shakes a little bit. It doesn't fall apart yet, but he's bashing the pillar. This one's going to get up, and he's going to attack you, Buck. Okay, he has advantage. He does have advantage. And that advantage is going to hit as he gotcha. takes a big old mace and smacks you with it, and you're going to take... 15 reduced to 7 bludgeoning damage. So I have um, the, um, what's it called now? The blade mail. It says, when I take damage from any source as a reaction, I return the full damage back to the attacking creature. Whoa. Yes. Um, I does, it doesn't say how often I can use that, though. Um, uh, it just says as a reaction. You didn't. Yeah, you can do it as many times as you want. The whole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll hit him. I'll use that as a reaction then. All right. Um, yes, he takes seven he... bludgeoning back. Is that before the reduction? No, it's after reductions. Okay. Uh, so y'all still do it. I mean, I might as well. Um, so yes, he hits, he bashes you yeah, with a yeah. mace, and <clears throat> his hand rings as he clutches onto it. And Lucia is going to, after she's made her command, is going to focus on your word. And she is going to try and make a tripping attack. Okay. Whoa. 
Ooh, yes. Okay. Make a strength save. DC 18. Oh. Ooh, you are knocked prone, word, and you no. are also going to take... No. 15 slashing damage from her sword. How are you at hit point-wise? Uh, I'm out of my reactions, so I'm unconscious. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. You are unconscious. It's like excessive damage from like three different things. I don't even know okay. what the first thing was. It, it was her to armor bag at this. It did 30. <clears throat> Fuck crazy. Yeah, it did like 30 in the beginning. Yeah. Yep. But you did like completely okay. remove it, so. I have something, but I need to drop concentration on the call so lightning. So I want to. I, I, I have something. Okay. I want to propose something. Um, are you going to roll for me or? No, no, no. Uh, you're going to roll, but I want to propose, I want to try this thing because I, I never like it when uh, players are down because it means that their whole turn is skipped. I want to propose an idea that you can still act, but as if you had exhaustion. Whoa. You will still roll, but you can still act as if you had a point of exhaustion. Within inches of my life. So my yeah, base basically. or disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I can I take uh, bonus actions or? You know what? Let's say no. You can only take yeah. actions. Oh, okay. okay. You is, can only take you, actions and you have exhaustion. Yeah. Are you still rolling death saving? Yes, yeah, still rolling death yes, saving. I will be, yeah. So that, oh, that is one failure. It, uh, wait, what counts as a failure? Wait, no, that's a, that's a strength save. That's Sorry, strength I thought save, that was right. a death save. Sorry. Woo! My mistake, my mistake. A death save is a con save, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there, there should, should be, be a button for death save. Yeah, so it's just a straight d20. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With no so you are, we're going to call this on the brink of death. Okay, I'll continue my negotiations. Hmm. Unfortunately, it pings off of her armor. Um, if no bonus actions, shoot. That's tough for a rogue. Um, let's just do that because I have no bonus. Ooh, ah! that's one failure. Okay. Fritz. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Everyone I'm okay? Faced I'm gonna... with the possibility that word could die. I'm gonna. I'm gonna step forward and. I have a potion of healing. Can I throw it at them? Um, Baldur's Gate style. <laughs> yes, that's going to be uh, a dexterity roll, I would say, because you're throwing a ranged That's not going to heal him, is it? Like Ooh. a splash potion? I'm going to say I, that's I, fun, so I'm going to say it does. Okay. That's <laughs> I don't fun. know. I was thinking Baldur's Gate, and I was like, this is fun. Okay. I have forgotten this the whole time, and I'm sorry that I've not been reminding that Word has had my ability to add a D3 to his rolls the whole oh, time. Oh, oops. I don't know if that has made any difference, but... but it, it, well, maybe not yeah, on my last yeah, roll. Probably, probably not on the last one. No, that one, no. Saving throws wouldn't work. Okay. It's probably gone now that I'm unconscious. So... It doesn't say that it is. Oh, yeah, 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 fuck it. Yeah. The thing is, will this do damage? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. You're safe to, to throw <laughs> you it, and you're, you're fine. He just perfectly instant, swallows all instant, of it. <laughs> instant death saving. <laughs> okay. Um. What was it to roll to throw it at them? A dexterity. Dex, said, uh, just straight dexterity. Saving throw. I believe in you. Just a just check. A that, that would be acrobatics, ah! I think. Oh. Oh. Uh, wait, well, it's an improvised acrobatics? throwing weapon. Like yeah. just like how you would throw oh, a oh, dagger. Oh, okay. Yeah. So unfortunately, you throw it at word. It king cr crashes against the the floor and breaks. And there's smash? this potion on the floor. It smashed. Word, get to the fucking potion. Slip. <laughs> I I know it sounds really bad. Lick that floor. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Lick the floor, word. Now you do have a second attack if you so wish. I'm gonna count that as an attack <laughs> oh, roll. Fuck. Okay. Um. Uh. So I moved ten. Now, I will say, if you move out of range of this guy, he will have an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, I didn't really... Oh, yeah, I'm in range. Okay, um, fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm angry. Shoot her! On yeah! Oh, yep, that'll do on it. On the lady. And that's bonus oh, and fire damage. Oh, she still got the oil the, on her? Yeah, she does Ooh. have the oil on her. That's going to be bonus. How much fire damage? Five. Extra, extra five. I did four. Extra five. Okay, so she's going to take 19 whole damage. She's lit oh, she feels it. Ah! She was litty. Yeah. I hope she cooks inside of that armor. Okay, and that's your two attacks. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Lay I tried, I'm sorry. Good. First, bonus action. 
three d6 of healing to word, and he gets three, three temp, temp HP from that. Bomb of the Summer Court. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have thrown my potion. <laughs> I, was, I didn't want to metagame it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I, was, I was worried friend was going to die. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's My it's, heart is like pounding because yeah. I didn't know how many spell slots you had left. Uh, <laughs> this is not a spell slot thing. This is just an ability I get. I get 7d6 of free healing as, par as the druid school I'm part of. Uh, for my next trick, I'm going to step back five feet. I'm still in range of uh, both of these guys, so they don't get attacks of opportunity. Mm -hmm. But it does allow me to target this point with a lightning bolt that will hit both of them. Ah, all right. So that's Let's just going to be another bolt. 3d10 uh, if they fail their save, which is, let me check what it is again. Uh, dex saves DC 15, and uh, if they succeed, they will only take 13 damage. Well, it doesn't matter for this guy because he he gets zapped and completely, he like does the Looney Tunes, e -oh, e -oh, er, and like you see his skeleton <laughs> a little bit and he falls Incredible. To the floor. All right, uh, and Righty McGee? Righty McGee also fails. He takes the full damage, completely zapped. Yay. He's still, he's still holding on. Okay. Uh, well, that was my bonus action to get word back on his feet. Uh, my action to activate the spell. And if I move out of range, this guy smacks me. So I will end my turn. All right, Buck. I'm going to eat this woman. Uh, so I'm going to run over. <laughs> okay, you're going to take one attack. attack about you're going to take right off the attacks, yeah. Go Let's ahead. I, it's not an advantage because it's the start of my turn. Right, right, right. Um, it's okay. He's just going to miss you. Yeah, he is. I'm going to hit this woman with a reckless attack. Yeehaw! Save your little buddy. Oh, oh, never mind. He didn't hit me. Oh, unfortunately not. She I know. parries it Are out Are you the technically way. flanking her because word is there? Oh, sure wait. Have advantage, yeah. I guess you already have advantage. I already have advantage. I'm trying again. Double advantage? Oh, um. Ooh, the second one I is going get... to hit. Oh, I realized I didn't get a chance to uh, use my beast. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, your beast. I'm so oh. sorry. Yeah, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll do it after. Fight her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I just remembered it existed. Me too. <laughs> so, 14 total damage Ooh, because yes. uh, I'm raging. So, it's going to do. Yeah, 14 total damage because um, I'm being here. Because um, you're being. Um, Okay, the, she is really going to else. lose her concentration. She rolled shit. Uh, lose her concentration on the fairy fire on you, Lyra. Oh. Nice. Wait, oh, and I can move that her last? back five feet. Uh, can I push her towards the wall? Uh, five feet? Yeah, you most certainly can. <laughs> she skids. And I think what I would have done is I would have gone here if I, I forgot that that was a possibility. So just go. Oh, yes, yeah, step forward, please. Thank you. <laughs> Motherfucker, I need that. <laughs> Climb up the poncho. Okay, uh, Fritz, move uh, your beast. You wanted to do Awkward stuff. Returns. All right. Um, you guys seem to have gotten it over there. I'm going to have them attack the witch bolt guy. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting how to do this. D20 plus five, because that is your spell attack. Ah, the weird movement fancy thing you just taught me. While moving the token, right click. Pew! And then roll... Just a D. What was it again? D20 plus five. Thank you. My brain short circuited. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> this is a very stressful combat. Ooh, yes, that'll do it. And uh, the damage Ooh. is. I think it was in the thing. It said. Uh, 1D8 plus four. He's going to have to roll concentration on his witch bolt. Uh, whatever the damage thing. is, he's <laughs> going to drop concentration. He rolled a two. Ha! <laughs> So ah. the witch bolt is no longer attached to word. It's a relief. Hey, food. So I roll a 1D. Eight, eight plus four. Plus four. Thank you. <laughs> I think if I had moved like over <laughs> here, like right here, he wouldn't have had it, but that, that yeah. could have just wiped me out again. Magic tasers are <clears throat> rough. Yeah. Doesn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> nope, but it did knock his concentration out, so it did something. Yep, that's good. And you can also, you can fly by your bird out of range, so. Yeah, yeah. and it yep, won't take an attack of opportunity. Thinking. I'm going to pull them over to... Oh, I just saw the square. So I went from there to there. Okay. Yep. Done. Okay. Next is Lucia and her soldiers. Let's do her soldiers first. Oh, boy. This one is going to... Um, well, this one is going to stop hitting the pillar, as he was doing earlier. 
and he's like, Ugh! he's gonna hop on over here and start hitting this pillar instead. Boom, boom. I think they might be trying to collapse this place with us inside. Is the other pillar like completely broken? No, I, but you can tell with one more good hit, it could collapse. But you can see that he's focusing on you, Buck, and based on ah. your movements. Uh, this one is going to. Uh, oh, he's trying to collapse a pillar on you. Yeah. See. Not the whole building, just the pillar. Seeing as you are still a threat, Lyra, he's going to take a swing at you. Thanks. And completely miss ping against the pillar. Yay. Uh, this one is no longer at advantage. He is going to step on over here and he is going to stomp the ground and do sort of a a crushing move to try and shake you off your feet. Buck, make a strength saving throw. You're good at those. Do you have some kind of advantage because you've been enlarged? Uh, yeah, I do. And because I'm raped. Cool. Okay, with a 16, you are going to be fine still up on your feet and you're only going to take eight reduced to two bludgeoning damage. Eight, eight reduced to two? Oh, a four, oh, sorry. Because, like, eight reduced to okay. four, sorry, so sorry. No, 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 two, two, two's fine, two's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Right. Is going to... Ooh, ooh, he, does that count as hitting me with an attack? Because he, yes. because I have my... I would say so. You want to he'll take... blade mail well, that? No, not that, but he does take 1d6 because of my uh, barbarian. Oh, all right. Uh, so he's gonna yeah, roll me a 1d6. This mage is moving out of your range. Yeah, you can attack of opportunity him. Yes, he most certainly is. Ooh. If you want to take an attack uh, of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make it, because then I won't be able to do my other thing, but I'll still use it. Uh, and I'm still attacking, so it should still be with advantage. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ooh, nice. So oh my god, he's knocked out 17 cold. 17 plus, oh, okay. He's not, god, yeah, he's boosh. If you go back, I think like every D four I've hit has been like yeah. has been four. It's been bananas. Like the like past five D fours yeah. I've rolled have been four. Is it? Lady Luck giveth and she Luck, taketh what's away. Going on, Lady Luck, yeah, she giveth today. Hey, finally, I've been I've got two crits this combat. It's the gambler's fallacies finally paid off. <laughs> I've earned up all these wins. <laughs> I'm gonna look up at, at Lucia Baztan, like if slowly coming back to life. Is that all you got with your baby magic? <laughs> That's nothing. Filthy rats. And she is going to smack you with that comment. No. Oh. We're no. <laughs> immediately, immediately dead again. Die. <laughs> <laughs> all double damage death. Takes Stop. her sword, her great sword, makes a little bit of a swing. Oh, she misses. You are lucky. <laughs> Stop knocking Stick to out casting, my cold. poser! <laughs> and this one is going to cast another Witch Bolt to try and latch onto you, Word. He's just a little guy. So it's his first day. magic because you can't hit people with your swords, you coward. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems as though karma has not caught up to you today, Word, because the Witch Bolt is going to miss. God, King Word, live. <laughs> He's just like, like I get the chance to stab at her, right? <laughs> you most like certainly do. Just like out of the way. <laughs> like his eyes are bloodshot, and wide, <laughs> crazed. Get a load of this. Ooh, all right. And that deals an additional five oil damage. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it singes her, burns her up a little bit. <clears throat> you feel like you're making some good headway on her. Yeah, less than nothing. <laughs> And uh, I think that's all I have. I don't have any crazy bonus actions. Do you have any healing potions you can chug? Uh, I, I think that takes an action. Oh. You have a bonus act. Don't you have oh, swift hands? Oh, I'm stupid. As a, as a root. Oh no, that's a thief. That's a thief ability. Yeah, that's, you're a, hmm. you're not a thief. Enjoy my gigantic friend. I will not be talked to by such a ignorant creature. What creature? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna step, you're gonna miss you step away? Yeah. And I start loading Blackhawk. Yeah. He says shit. Cause you've attuned to it now, right? Cause we got in yes. that rest. Yeah. It was awfully obliging of them to like, like bolt it or no. <laughs> maintain surveillance on us the whole time we were napping in the lava room. They're like, we'll wait. It's like, yeah, it's, They're uh, more inbred than us. But places, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Fritz, your turn. Uh, Ouch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how how's she not even like bloody? She's wearing a big suit of armor. And me without my heat metal, metal today. today. Hit her well. Oh, we've hit her a lot. Oh, you have, yeah. Death. 
Okay, she got that stiff upper lip, have... you know, lizard folk. <laughs> um, I forget. What was the range for me to get disadvantage on range stuff? Uh, melee. Like basically, if you're so, if you shot the, the guy, you'd have disadvantage. You have to like Shit. go at least ten. Uh, be at least like okay. this far. Okay. You know what? I haven't used these before. Um, would you like uh, a little bit of stabbing, my friend? Uh, the guy in. Oh, why did I move? Oh, a dagger. Hello? All right. Um, unfortunately. The dagger in the guy in front of me. Uh, the because the other guy is uh, out of commission. Mm -hmm. Both both of those unfortunately are not enough as he is parrying the blows. Bastard. I don't have anything else to do. I think. Play run. Oh no! Wait, the baby. Fritz, oh yeah, baby uh... Fritz. Yeah, that's right. Baby oh, Fritz. Baby Fritz. <laughs> the beast. Baby Fritz. The beast. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna have them um, harass this lady. Right. Smack her. To do roll. your roll one d twenty plus four. Woohoo! Uh, does it hit? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna hit. Ooh. R one d was it twenty? No, twenty. One d eight plus four. Yeah, Ten. A lot of damage. Eight. Ah, oh, there you go. Eight plus four. There you go. <clears throat> We're wearing her down. Yep. Where? Oh my God, that's a decent hit. Okay. Then... So she is, she is roughed up. Mm -hmm. All right, and then gonna fly over death. And okay, die. and now that she's low, she's gonna <laughs> use another legendary action. Boo. She goes. Boo, we don't like you. That's enough. Demoralize her. Out of all of you, and she, uh, kind of like swings her sword in a glyph-like motion, drawing a glyph in front of her, and all the fire grates start to emit a dim glow in an area like this. Shoop. Let me just uh, make it so that huh? you can see. Help. Nothing happens, but you do feel warm. <laughs> uh-huh. That yeah. feels suspicious. The fire grates do that, or? The, the fire grates, yes. Oh. <gasps> Oh. I think this is going to become a problem later. So now, Lyra, it is your turn. Excellent. Uh, all right. Uh, for my action, I'm going to target this point and hit both of those boys with 3d10 lightning damage. Ooh, uh, all right. It's nice that they grouped up. <laughs> uh, let me just How convenient. pop that sucker in the chat. Ouch, ouch. Good, good. Heck yeah. Okay, all right. This mage is going to be knocked out. Nice. Completely. The big guy is still sticking around, though. It's just the big boy. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, swift stride shifter shift into a thing that gives me nine temp HP uh, and okay. slightly better mobility. And, uh, yeah... I don't want to proc an opportunity attack from this guy when he's just going to hit me next round anyway, so, uh... Yeah, I think I'll stick around. I mean, you're pretty well off, comparatively. Uh, yeah, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> um, it's just if I drop concentration on call lightning, it's oh, going to be yeah, a pain. Yeah, yeah. So you're not moving out of the, uh, the area of... You know what? No. When you say it like that, um, <laughs> maybe also, I. He's gonna hit you anyway. He's gonna smack me anyway. So yes, I'm going to bounce back here, and okay, if he wants to smack me on the way out, that's attack. up to him. Uh, yeah, and he's he is going to land one. Okay. And you're going to take nine slashing damage. Gonna buckler parry that one as well. Uh, DC ten. Uh, yeah, DC yes, 10 for but I'm just gonna reduce it by six, so I only so take, three, take three, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, my concentration check is uh, uh, eh. Ooh, your lightning. So is I gone. do, I do have inspiration. It's been on oh, my. Light. Okay, then I'll just roll it again. Eh. Sorry, it's up to you. But why? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, oh. The cloud within the building dissipates. You're called lightning. Shit. It's gone. Ah. Uh, we'll take it from here. Buck, your turn. I do have two more third level spell okay. slots. Okay, um, I am the barbarian. I reckless and I hit her. All right. What's your Ooh. name? All right, uh, what are you here to do? Bang. Uh, 17 plus, 
oh, it had to happen. You, I had to taunt Lady Luck. You <laughs> knock a piece of her, her like helmet just clean off, just ping as the armor shatters and you can see her kind of a bruised eye underneath. I'm gonna move her here. Where? Ping again? Uh, here. Oh, yeah, move her into the me. zone. <laughs> yeah. And then can I move here? Okay, yes, you most certainly can. The blocker and also maybe get out of the way. Uh, and then I'll hit, a, hit her again. Or try to. Just push her even further. Ooh, yes. Uh, oh my 16 gosh. 16 plus 1d4. Um, Buck, how do oh. you do it? Ooh! Um, can I do something with the permission of word? <laughs> because because I'm very, well, no, I want I want word to be involved in the in what I'm doing. Can I fastball special her at word, and then whatever <laughs> yeah. word decides to do to her in midair? I know that there's. I think this was wasn't this pillar knocked down or no? No, it not yet. It was partially cracked, but it's set to break. Yeah, yeah it's set to I'm break. gonna like. Can I like knock her up in the air with a hammer and then grab her as she's on the way down and like get within. You know, I just want to toss her to Word, and whatever Word does to finish her is going to be on. Yes. Knock her out of the air with the hammer. We're wombo combo. Yeah, we're wombo comboing her. I'm, I'm... <laughs> out of the situation, though, is it okay if if she like dies in this or? I don't give it. I go ahead. Yeah, fuck her. All right, I'm gonna like crawl up the wall and do a backflip. Ooh. Uh, just as like the fires are blaring beneath me, and I'm going to whip out my uh, closing argument and launch it at her neck, and as she's flying, still covered in this active oil, it's just gonna hit the nape of her neck and set her on fire as she falls. Ooh, and she screeches in agony. Ah, no, I'll not be done in by blah! We as suck she to be done in by blah. Burns to cinders. I can't help but notice she didn't make any concentration checks on whatever that ominous glowing aura effect mm. is. <laughs> I, I like uh, the, the cool weather. We I'll also. say with the cool killing blow, yeah, you can move out of the way as she Thank burns you. to cinders. And uh, on her turn, uh, the only one, Fritz, you're going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. Well, hold on. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll make okay. that one too. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you want, I mean, it's, it's only fair. Like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. The move, neither do okay both, both of you. you in there. As the fire vents explode due to the conjuring from Lucia Bastan. Does that kill the other two big guy mooks? It does not kill them. It gets them. It burns them as well. Let me roll for them. Oh, Actually, it burns. It kills buddy. this one. <laughs> ha. Sorry, Boosh. one that died. Is are the corpses dead? The cor too? The this one, corpse the is dead. Uh, this corpse is or, dead. Is the corpse dead? Sorry, the unconscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The unconscious. I, I knew what so you meant. So it's just the guy in the middle who's like Boosh. narrowly avoiding two different Dirty infernos. And, uh, <laughs> Maybe Fritz, this guy will be named Steve. Fritz and Word, both of you take eight fire damage since you made it. And one hit boy. Ah! And on their turn, the um, you can see that the guards kind of speak in their earpieces, and word, you hear, Lucia Bastan is no more. And then they seem to get pulled by a conjuring spell, not of their own, out of the room, foosh, foosh. Lucia Bastan is no more, and word, you hear lots of chatter on your earpiece from the guards, lots of shouting, getting people in line, get that one, don't let them escape. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, if we have a little moment, I would like to pull out my sending stone and uh, alert our uh, gold dragon friend, like, uh, Lord Tahero, uh tried to have us killed and is definitely moving. Um, so if you're going to do anything, subtlety's out the window. <laughs> All right. Uh, and also, as you do, in the center of the room appears a teleportation circle. Oh, goody. Can you unreduce? Can you unenlarge me? Yes, can you I most certainly me? can. Uh, Thank you. Because yeah. it only I, lasts a minute, I think. Oh. Right? I think so. Uh, let me check my inventory. I guess I can stay enlarged for the purposes of going through the portal. Just a sec. Are we Are we going through the portal right now? Uh, yes. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just I'm just checking. Uh, Word. Get in the poncho. <laughs> I'm moving at like five feet, just crawling along. <laughs> Strangely, this doesn't give me the details of the spell. Uh, My blood okay. feels like coffee grounds. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick you up. Can I? Can I have permission to do that? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna take that as yeah. a yes. Thank you. Come here. 
And large reduce only lasts one minute. And it's theoretically concentration, but I think if it's a spell scroll, that doesn't apply? I don't know. No, I'm going to say spell scrolls don't require concentration. Because it's also a wizard spell, so I couldn't cast it anyway. Um, okay. uh, I'll pick up word, and um, I don't have the baby Bjorn, and he has to be... <laughs> Can improvise the poncho. Himself. Yeah. Oh, I'll just put him on my like shoulder because I have enough room for him. I just uh -huh, don't want him uh -huh. to have to walk because he's hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, let's. We gotta. Get, I think we gotta get out of here. I think we need to get out of here as quickly mm -hmm. as possible. Although I hesitate to use a teleportation circle. It's clearly left here by our enemies. <laughs> I don't think we have any other Lyra? options. You're yes. so sensible. I'm grabbing by the arm. We've got nowhere else to go. We're going. Oh, all right. <laughs> We've got nowhere else to go. Wait, we gotta no, go. Wait, wait, wait. What? I didn't. Uh, I haven't walked oh, through up? yet. We have friends. Oh yes, I was, here. There we go. I was those, wondering oh, about that. Yes. Okay. Go away. Yes. Should we, can we? Multiple we... friends. Oh. Are we like uh, speeding back to grab I, I, them or? Here, you you guys I'll, stay here. I'll, I'll go back say and grab yes. Them. You are able to grab them for okay. simplicity's sake. I'll okay. hold okay. word. <laughs> here, I'll hold the baby. And they they escape through the portal with you. Not including soup ladle. Is he staying still? Um, when you he go, I'm going to go say, those, by the time you go back to where the Warforged are, uh, all of them are vanished. Fuck. Yeah, I think, yeah, they've, I been think they've been deployed. deployed. I come running yeah. back with George yeah. and uh, Gola. Gola. Yeah. Gola. I don't know why I remember George's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's George. George. Remember that lady you served? <laughs> George. Uh, I, uh, yeah, George is still like a guy, right? He didn't. Yeah, yeah, he's he's yeah George. Uh. So you don't have to worry Lady about her Bastin. anymore. Something, something. Yeah, you yeah. Don't have to worry about her I come, I, I like, I come through the portal carrying Gola and George under my arms, and they just, and just dead Lady Badstan is on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh shit. Yeah. Let me. Can I loot her? Uh, yes. <laughs> you. Hell, hell yeah. You find, find on her. her. Uh, the staff. Of Lady uh, Lucia Bastan, which you will have to. I'll, I'll give you the stats for that some other time. Yay! Mm. You ha you get Lady Bastan's necklace and two hundred gold pieces. Score. Ooh. Who says crime doesn't pay? <laughs> Glad we decided to kill her. I think we probably could have robbed her even if she was unconscious. I'm curious what they would have done though. Yeah. Well, road not taken. Her, her staff, her necklace, and 200, 200 gold, gold pieces. Gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, when you step through the portal, yes. light engulfs you, and you are greeted with a very grim scene at the city square of Trevisetta. Oh, as boy. As it brings you right in front of the public eye. Oh. And you are met with a very grim scene. You hear word <clears throat> kind of through your earpiece, various uh, commands shouting of gathering them up. It seems as though there's a commotion going on. And you see in the square, there are various different dead prisoners that you recognize from the prison. Uh-oh. Including... No. Torellin. No! no! They got our boy! He is still alive, but very haggard. Oh. Oh, okay. And you can see that oh my God. they are surrounded by guards who have cannons, bows, muskets aimed at them, and now at you. And unfortunately, among the guards as well, you see... Uh, Captain, no. Arzir. Captain Arzir. And he speaks with Thaumaturgy, shouting out, Pilgrims of Satya, you are under arrest for conspiracy against the Lordship and encouraging a coup against Trevisetta's government. That is not wrong. You betrayed us. He's a little bit wrong. <laughs> well, mm. I mean, not morally, but I think he's technically correct. <laughs> Legally, he is entirely correct. Yeah, did, I get a, did I get any response when I was like, hello, gold dragon friend, if you want to make a scene? You get no response. <laughs> cool. Well, hopefully she's not already arrested. I, I love yeah. ending the scene at one hit point. <laughs> Very cinematic. You know, if there was ever a time where I feel like we needed lady luck, mm. now would probably be it. I already told you, Buck, there's no gods. We killed the one that there was. I am sorry for this. 
But come quietly, and we will make sure no harm comes to you. I'm looking at Torellin. What's Tor mm. What's Torellin doing? Torellin so, has fear in his <clears throat> eyes, and noticing and recognizing you, Buck, you can see that tears are rolling down his cheeks, and he mouths oh. the words, I'm sorry. Oh. I'll just, like, nod to him, like, it's okay. It's okay, bud. And you can see one of the prisoners crawling towards you, word, but being kind of, like, held there by the foot of another Bastan soldier. He shouts out, they were too strong, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not our time yet. And just then, you see a massive shadow falling over the head Ooh. as <laughs> boosh, Ooh. crashing to the earth is a massive gold dragon who immediately starts bashing the guards, throwing them around. That's a girl. Finally, the bad attitude comes in handy. <laughs> and all the guards start focusing her. Are they gonna shoot at their own dragon? <laughs> I think we gotta get out of here. And behind we you, gotta book it. behind you, you also see another friendly face. Riding in on your familiar cart <gasps> is a cart certain, JPEG. a certain villain that has been following you. <gasps> it is La Destructura. <gasps> Whoa! Hop yeah! on, pilgrims, this place doesn't seem to be welcoming you anymore. I th I throw <laughs> I throw a word on the on card dungeon bag. I want to go save Terrell. I want to go get to him. I, I as you're like you gonna grab him? Cart, uh, I, no, I gesture toward Butterscotch. You're up me. <laughs> Butterscotch just like lowers her head on you, almost trying to lift you up. Or to get on. As a two foot tall guy, I'll ride like the nape of her neck. Mm -hmm. Can I? Can I? Can I? Maybe rage if I can. I want. I want to get to Torellin. I got 50 feet of movement because of my uh, perk that I took. Um, I'm gonna and say. And because I'm a barbarian, can I risk it? You can make one athletics check. If you succeed, you can grab Torellin and bring him with you. If you can fail, I... I will say the the oh. Trevisetta guard is too much for you. Can, can I, I? Can uh, I rage to give myself advantage? Yes, um, you may advantage. Okay. Oh, I thought we were gonna. I, I don't know why. Part of me wants to steal the dragon. I'm ta I wanna also, take. I want to take hostage. I think if she a, wants to <laughs> leave with us, she'll leave with us. Yeah. There's also a. Uh... No, our other dragon friend. Oh, Captain Arzir. Oh. Uh, mm. No, I don't think he's gonna want to. I think he's up on the roofs. I thought uh, that was him there. Oh, Where I forgot to put his token. Oh, there. he might Sorry. be there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah we can treat token. that as his token. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, right, I shouldn't get him hot shit. Come on two, come on two, come on two, come on two. Okay, well. You are slightly more glowy. And he gets more, he gets plus one AC within 10 feet of me. Okay, so I get, I don't have inspiration. 24. Nice. You grab Torellin in one swift move and Cap you can see, can see Captain Arzir seeing you approach brandishing his sword and when you grab Torellin, he, you can see just on his face, it pains him to do what he's doing, but yeah. he takes a swipe at you anyway. Uh, and you are- is 17 with the, uh, uh, with the plus one. Yep, you're able to dodge out of the way, but you can tell that his, ten his intentions were to try and hit to you. Kill. Yeah, that's right. You grab Torellin. Book it, book it back. And you hop on the cart and escape Trevisetta. Hmm. Uh. Well, we're not even pilgrims anymore. We un we got un we got officially unpilgrim. We are still pilgrims. Trevor said well, I know, I know, I know that. I know that. I know that. That could make all sense. We have written evidence of Trevisetta's cursing other people with, if we take this shit to Aguna and we're like, is up we to have some shenanigans. The, we have the hearts. I'm saying we got the hearts. We have the hearts. Still. We go to Aguna to get the last one and we're like, yeah, we were ran out of Trevisetta because we accidentally unearthed this fucking crazy conspiracy where they were using prison labor by feeding them blot. Here's the evidence that we acquired. Like, There's as long as we don't know. Who looks at oh yeah, we have directions Torellin, Torellin will go a long way in, in explaining what happened, I'm sure. Well, it's, it's not like a guarantee you'd win, but we have so much evidence that Tr Travis said is uh, doing bad shit on the down low that as long as Aguna is not also under their thumb, we'll be okay. I'm worried it's not gonna matter. Oh? Huge, huge note. Are the Baztan guards, are they still 
like, did we see any of them? Oh yeah, you saw lots of them outside. I think uh, they got extracted with... from the dungeon, but not the, yeah. Oh, oh, you mean in the dungeon? No, I mean outside. Oh, outside, yeah, you saw a lot of them. They don't care that we slaughtered their leader. Oh boy, that's bad. That's not what I wanted. Let's leave. So yes, I think... uh, Lo La Destructora, um, also known as your good friend, uh, ba -ba -ba. I forget her name. There's too many NPCs in this game. <laughs> Jade, good friend. We Jade, so she removes Jade, her helmet, speaking to you all out of character, of course. Mm -hmm. You, you all lot just, uh, just poke the bees' nest, didn't you? Yeah. The nest well, was too big. The bees' nest came for us. If <clears> I'm <throat> stretching the metaphor as far as yeah. we'll go. There we go. They there wanted a heart and a. Uh... Do you know what's going on down there? She looks as tired as we're about to be <laughs> by the end of all this. Mm. Hmm. You get a. Do you know what they're doing? I have no idea. But I hope Pavita can get out of there. D should... Am I okay to tell today? I think we should think very carefully about who we want to endanger with the things we've learned. Mm, well, Jade just kind of endangered themselves by this showing themselves as an ally to us. We accidentally um, unearthed a conspiracy <clears throat> that may be as old as Olympia itself, and it's not happy about it. Also, they're trying to fuse people with blood. She... Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, Torellin. <laughs> she <laughs> looks at Torellin, she looks at you over. I assume you're giving her kind of the Cliff's Notes version, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she just like looks speechless. She doesn't know what to say, and she thinks for quite a, quite a few minutes on this. Yeah. And she, while you're telling her the story, she doesn't interrupt a single word. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's why this kind of ended up like this. We were given the opportunity to turn the other way and carry out our duty as planned. Or, well, they were trying to kill us. I don't think this escape was mm -hmm. part of their general plan. Mm. Well, I guess we're all targets now. You mm. especially. Yes. I not know a few us. ways around to make sure we're not completely observed, but what do you want to do with them? And then she points to Torellin, uh, uh, Garo, and um, George. Uh, Gola, sorry. Gola and George. We kind of have to go to Aguna, right? I mean, we have no choice. They're going to be looking for the heart in Aguna. It's the last one. And they know yeah. that we need it to... They know that we <clears throat> need it to get it to the life tree. I mean, that's the only thing that's left. But they also need ours. Right. That's what I'm saying is we, if we spend enough... Do we know anybody in Aguna? I think... Other, uh, we oh, can trust mother. these people we're traveling with more than anyone else. We yeah, how does George feel mother. about all this? Uh, you can see George um, is just kind of twiddling his thumbs, and he's like, well, uh, I mm. guess I'm fired now, huh? <laughs> Worse than that, um, buddy. But you're among friends. Oh, you're fuck. A beacon, you're a beacon of light, George. I appreciate the way you're looking at this whole situation. Regrettably, your bosses are unforgivably evil, but... but... Are those blue eyes? They're gorgeous. <laughs> Let me see your eyes, George. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just for we, safety's sake, if it's all the same to you, I prefer to remain faceless. Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. Uh... As, as a note, I am completely, like, frozen and uh, frostbitten and also charred. I have one hit point. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. We're gonna need a nap. No. no, I'm sorry. I'm suffering from ataxia. If I punch you, it's not my fault. No, no word. word. Seeing as your plan for the uprising has failed and you're in such a roughed up situation, you hear the voice of Nonstop Pagonia's. Well, that didn't really work out, did it, boss? Every good king has his failings. Mm. And points like this in a person's life, they learn the most. This is just the halfway point. Give me a persuasion. Okay. Ooh. Let me roll for him. I'm sorry, boss, but seeing as this is a business transaction, sometimes we have to evaluate our 
Uh, what is it you call? A cost, benefits, risk. And seeing that familiar scent again. And seeing as you botched this one. No offense. I think I may have to reconsider. And you see the face of nonstop Begonia is appearing right in front of you, eyes to eyes. And he takes his hand and caresses your cheek word. Oh, yeah. this is just business. You understand. And you feel his essence pulling away from you. Okay. Your pact with nonstop Begonias prematurely ends, and you are now at three levels of exhaustion. Ooh. Okay. We're going to need a big nap. <laughs> That's what, three long rests three to recover? Long rests, yeah. Yeah. Disadvantage on everything. Oh my god. All right. Well, I guess we just hit our end of Empire Strikes Back moment. <laughs> and. I'm becoming Darth Vader. <laughs> as you travel on the road, Jade stops the cart. Oh god, please don't betray us. <laughs> He's just like dump word. <laughs> you, um, He's weak. You've all dealt with this before, I. Um, I think it. If it's not much to ask, I can look over the civilians while you deal with um, that. And on the road, you see a familiar looking humanoid blot. Oh, you've oh. got to be fucking kidding me. My god. Keep word on the cart at all costs. He's one of our allies, I swear to god. We're friends now. They, we're not friends with this guy. He's <laughs> trying to kill us. Oh god, we are. We were on the wrong track. <laughs> <laughs> Work, don't speak. Work. I'll we can handle this. Just stay behind. Yeah, I'm going to walk. I'm not, not luck. Black. We're in new waters now. The world we're looking at is not the same as we thought it was. Everything could be different. We didn't come all this way for this thing to take the hearts from us. Who cares? All right, let's let word rest, I think. The humanoid oh, like, blot like, slowly approaches you, Buck. I think at this point, Buck is just like, because he's constantly has just been putting himself in between like the danger for this whole mission i'm just like all right one last time all right let's do this one last time i'll look back at lara and fritz and word and everybody else just make sure that everyone's okay well we're all right I'm, I'm gonna say uh i'm gonna say come on then i know you can understand me it gets close what do you want walking forward and it, as it gets closer, it's warbled voice-like noises that it makes starts to form somewhat of a sentence that you can sort of understand in common. I want vengeance. We oh. were here before. Are you the Prabath? At hearing that sound, the eye lights up bright and looks directly at you, Lara. Give me that psychic damage. <laughs> Let's go. You see flashes of visions akin to the ones you saw in the underground, in the ruins of old Deosia. And <laughs> can I cast a spell? You can if you want. <laughs> okay. I want to cast Mage Hand. And I want to float over a mundane brass ring to that creature. Is this the one that you found in the uh, in the ruins? Or yeah. You float it over, and it extends sort of a tendril akin to an extremity, where the ring, it just right below the ring. Oh, yeah, I'll drop it. Drops into its hand, <clears throat> and it dimly glows a little bit. We were here before the, the, the hearts are ours. The tree must fall. I am the 
Probeth. And Elinthi killed us. Oh dear. We were here before. And that's going to be where we end the session today. Uh, Yay! Ooh, oh, gosh. I told you, progenitors. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and the pilgrims of Sachi aside with blood? Find out in next episode. <laughs>